Welcome to Rump Minds, where we will talk about the different intersections of business, technology, and society. My guest today is Alex Leao. Alex is the director of Earth Recycle International in Mexico in Ciudad Juarez and eMolding International in Thailand in Bangkok. He is also the CEO of IQ Group International and the former president of the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce in El Paso and Ciudad Juarez. His companies produce molded pulp products, which is a packaging material made by mixing recycled paper and cardboard with water and then molding it into the desired shape. It is sustainable, customizable, lightweight, and cost-effective, making it a popular choice for eco-friendly packaging. As you will see in the conversation, we will talk about other possible sources for these products, as well as his personal story and how he started on this business. Special thanks to El Paso Aihua Chinese Language School, Omar in MNX Studios for the space and support, and Eugenio Revilla for producing the music. And let's begin. Hope you enjoy. You have Chinese name? I have Chinese name. What is it? My Chinese name is Liao Qihong. Liao Qihong. Yeah, Qi. Oh, ah. Qi is the inspiration of Qi. Inspiration of Qi. Yeah, Hong is the head of the head. One Hong is. 宏大的宏，宏大的宏，宏大、嗯、就是 like you have a great vision, right? So that's why your eyes eyes are big. So I don't know. Yeah, it makes sense. I have a good good name though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you know what? Unfortunately,、yeah. like coming over here, like people joke about my name. I don't know if you know that. No, why? Because you guys are. You you guys speak Spanish, right? Yeah. So like my it pronounced like Chi Hong, right? But a lot of people cannot pronounce like you because you you speak、uh, Mandarin.、Mm. So they say, "Oh, Chin Gao, it's you." I say, "Why? <laughs> Why me?" I say, "Chin Gao." Oh, don't be Chi Yong. Like what the hell is Chi Yong? <laughs> yeah. So I have to go back to my factory and then let them to figure out. Okay. Oh, Chi Yong is like cry baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I come back and then always like those guys and they say, "Oh, oh, you know Chi Yong, right?" So now you're Chin Gong. They what? What, is what do you、go? mean? Yeah. yeah, so I have to figure out again. So yeah, so I start feeling like okay, maybe my family or my my dad give me a really good name, like make me become like a stunning. Yeah,、like、yeah coming yeah. over here、uh, as a like a Spanish like speaking like a like a environment or something like okay, I could be a bomb. Yeah. So, you are, yeah. So that's how I feel. Like, okay, yeah, I deserve to be here. <laughs>、yes. And originally, you were born in in Taiwan, right? Yes, I was born and raised in、yeah. Taiwan. Yes, in Tianmu, you were telling me that, like, yeah,、uh, I live in Tianmu. Yeah, I don't know if a lot of people doesn't know Taiwan, especially Taipei. Yeah, yeah. you know, Taipei actually、uh, a lot of foreign people they、like, prefer to live in Tianmu because not only for the there's an American school in Taipei.、Mm. But also Japanese school in Taipei, so that's why there's always mixed people, like foreign people. They love to live in Tai、uh, Atiemu.、Mm -hmm. So I feel like okay, yeah, that's that's a great place. You know, I never lived in Atiemu until I got married. So because we have a house over there, okay. Before, because I always live in my house, right? So it's called.、Um, Danlu, I don't know if you know. Danlu, yeah, what is that? Yeah, you know Danlu just right close to so、uh, Sogo. If you always go there to to sing the karaoke, right? Yeah, KTV, yeah, like yeah. Chengui, yeah. yeah. Chengui is really close to my house. Like I walk there not even like five minutes. Okay. Very convenient place. So, I think that I'm kind of spoiled because、uh, all my life so far until here, I really suffer a lot. Maybe later on we can talk about more. But yeah,、uh, yeah, my life come really great. I have a really good family. And come from a good family, and、uh, that's why that that really give me a really a lot of、uh, liberty. Okay, to when I was study, and I'm the youngest son. Okay, which means、um, as an Asian, I don't know, maybe here the same thing. I have no, I'm like worry free because I have my older brother, older sister. I'm the youngest, so there's a my my brother will will hold on every pressure. Okay. So my sister also being the、uh, a bigger sister, right? So she will take care of me.、Mm -hmm. So I'm become like a spoiled one. So I don't need to worry about anything. So that's why even when I came to、um, Canada, I studied. Yeah, I thought you were in British Columbia Institute of Technology, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah.、Uh, even though I don't want to say that that's a good school or bad school, that's really interesting. That's your school. school. No,、yeah. it's really school. It's really good school because uh, uh, that school really give me a lot of life experiences. Our school is unlike the traditional, like a college or university. Like people just learn about academic,、mm. but our school is really teaching you how to be more practical. You know, like everything really practical. So、uh, doing my studies, actually, all our、uh, cases, okay, our midterm and final term,、mm -hmm. it's always like a life case with the with the enterprise. The you studied commerce and marketing. 
or like a combination like or what was the combination with that and okay. also i learned about like uh computer science as well but oh okay I'm, I'm not that good on that i figured out that okay i read a talk now writing the code <laughs> right, so, right, right 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 right. so i give up but i think i'm kind of i'm kind of good on doing presentation because mm. i have no hesitation when i was young i never hesitate to kind of show myself right i don't know that like, i'm called shameless or something <laughs> like okay there's if there's a stage or something okay sure i'm gonna try it yeah never hesitate yeah i remember in the dinner in the uh yeah. taiwanese chamber of commerce dinner you were uh the main but stage you were moving people around yeah yeah like i never know that okay i'm because uh, I, i guess because the 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 job give it to me because mm. uh, why i'm coming over here i think later on we also gonna talk about it because uh It was come with a great opportunity that uh, the HP uh, okay. gave me, me the opportunity. HP like Harry Picard, if people doesn't know that the computer giant. Okay, so uh, how how that turned into me into something else? Because okay, yeah, when I was young, I like feel this after school, and then I went to China to work. Okay, and so you were in Taiwan studying, and then one summer you went to China, or what, oh no, what? actually, because I'm from Taiwan, right? Okay. So uh, my my college year, and uh, I was in LA first. Okay. And after that, because my family immigrated to Canada, so I need oh, to you went with your family to Canada. Okay. No, actually, just myself. Right. So, okay. so once again, that that also turned into something because okay, I, I I'm a spoiled kid. I have to say that even uh, the the university I'm going to mm -hmm. in LA is called USC. Okay, yeah. That University South Carolina, uh, California, right? Mm -hmm. USC. But actually, people call that okay, University of Spoiled Chinese. Okay. So, <laughs> unfortunately, that. that okay, that is quite uh, notorious. I have to say that because a lot of uh, Asians, okay, like people like having a lot of, I don't know, like maybe they are spoiled because uh, because I'm the international student. So I remember like every semester, our our tuition fee is more than sixty thousand dollars. Okay, so that's insane. So I didn't know that much. So I'm just about to apply and then getting accepted, and then I think there's news coming to 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 my family, and then my mom just receiving that news, and then she said, "No, you are leaving." There's no. Say, Where am I gonna go? Canada. I said, "Okay, sure, yeah." So that's why I moved to Canada because I need to become Canadian. So I need right. to live there, right? So that's why. Okay, then my entire uh, college or university life was finished over there in Canada. Okay. Yeah. So that's why uh, it really gives me a lot of independence uh, life because everything I need to handle myself. My parents just give me a house and car, and then okay, yeah. And then you just go around. You live yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I start practice a lot of things just by myself, and then start cooking like which is I, I'm not good at, mm. but actually you need to live. So that's why you need to learn how to cook. But also, it come from some uh, friends. Okay. Okay. Yeah, when people like taking care of you, so they will come to your house. They help you out. Yeah, I don't want to say that's called girlfriends. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yes, okay, I learned a lot from them. So yes, I think I'm lucky. So all the way up to here, like I've been seeing a lot of people. I really enjoy to to work with people, especially talking to people mm -hmm. as well. So that's why uh, not only my personal life, but also my school really teaching me that okay, you need to be out from. Mm -hmm. Because marketing, that there's no hesitation. You just need to read and learn a lot of things. Right. Plus, everything's like life uh, life cases. Mm. Remember, I just mentioned about my school, like collaborate with the uh, with the local uh, enterprise. The and what sorts of collaborations did you do in school? Like? Well, for example, like uh, a really good example. Okay, remember back in like I really cannot remember the year, but I think mm. everybody can start reading about okay the Winter Olympic in Vancouver. I okay. Think it was down in uh, uh, 20, uh, 2000, uh, 2000, 2008 or something, or 2010. I couldn't uh, recall, but please, people can correct me. Please correct me. But uh, yes, Vancouver, uh, at that time, I was going to graduate. And then before I graduate, we have a life uh, 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 um, cases mm. really come out from the Vancouver like uh, Winter uh, Olympic Committee. They, okay. They collaborate with our school and then trying to asking the students actually trying to conduct with the 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 proposal. You know, we have to create some kind of the you know the presentation. 
mm-hmm. also like uh, the the presentation and clip everything. So we have to collect all information from the past years from other city and also what's going to be benefit in Vancouver and also what is the future, what Vancouver going to be if we enroll to like uh, like hosting the the, the, the Olympics. Winter Olympics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So w- that was 2003. And then eventually we get selected uh, by end of 2003, if I remember correctly. So Vancouver was awarded. So we are the one, I feel honored that we, we involved with the comedy. Oh, no, okay. so, so frankly speaking, that was quite interesting. So at the end, uh, uh, that really gave me a lot of uh, uh, stamina. Mm-hmm. I, uh, no fear. Like, okay, it doesn't matter you want to talk to anybody, okay, who is really like over there even though we're just a student. But if you're doing great, uh, people would pay attention and listen what you say. So that's why and uh, I start joining this company after I graduate. Because mm-hmm. this, is, this is the company, uh, my company right now, but before I was partnered with the, with the owner. Okay. So that's how I, I learned from my friend because my friend, he's really like extraordinary, like he's really smart, but he's on the science part which is from the bio, biochem or something. Bio, okay. Yeah, and he graduated from the University of British Columbia, UBC. If you guys can read that, that that's a top like 50 school from, 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 from the entire world. Yeah. Yeah, so really good, nice school. So he is also like a top 3% student. Mm. So everything he's done, extraordinary. So uh, one day he said, okay, hey, uh, he's gonna leave because he's gonna go work in, Thai, uh, in China. And say, oh, China. At that time, I was still in the school. Mm-hmm. So, of course, everybody fascinated about uh, China at that time because we are Taiwanese, okay? Right. It's very familiar with China because, okay, even we are politically, okay, people really doesn't like about, like, wha- what's going on between Taiwan and China. But for me, I just, like, open-minded. Mm-hmm. So uh, there's a lot of possibility and then opportunity over there at that time because China was just open to the entire Western culture. Right. Before Western culture to get involved, because a lot of Western culture doesn't know China well, but they know Taiwan. So that's why there's a lot of Taiwanese people, like businessmen. Mm-hmm. They are representing for the Western culture, like the, the American company or like a European company, whatever, like from the global, because they need to speak the same languages as right, Chinese. Right, 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 right. So we become like a frontier for them. So I think there's a lot of opportunity for the Taiwanese company and also Taiwanese person like me, because if we go in there to China, at that time, I remember when I walked in China, that's not, th- 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 there's not too many people really speak English at that time. Yeah. So I'm become like a god. I feel like just like you, like you speak man, uh, Mandarin. Right? No, 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 no. No, if you speak Mandarin, like in front of like those Mexicans, like people would just say, "Wow, you are the idol, you are the hero," or something. I don't think so. No, no. But, uh, no, but at that time, and you know, uh, because uh, well, people doesn't know me, but I'm six two, so I think I'm kind of tall as a child. Yeah, you're very tall. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I thought I'm good looking as well. So that's why I feel like, okay, I'm really confident about myself. So uh, I really feel like, okay, that was really, really interesting uh, experience. Because when I walk in China, everybody look at you just like, okay, what, what, what are you talking about? You're like an alien. You can speak alien languages to uh-huh. people. So uh, that's why how I start really collaborate. Uh, and what were you doing in China? What was the work? Like? Yeah, so back to a little bit about my yeah, story yeah. because okay yeah from my from my friend right so right right after that, that, okay why why he's doing this i, I start asking because after the summer right so he stayed in china about six months when he come back and then we start talking and say okay how's everything going he said pretty good yeah pretty interesting so i start asking about what do you do so he started telling me about uh motor pole i think that's another topic we're gonna go over mm-hmm. because that become my career as well so a motor pole, what is that? So I start Google it and then check everything. So I figure out that, oh, wow, it's quite interesting. So it's like transfer something as a waste into something possible. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I think that could be a future. So because his family involved with uh, the, the big boss, okay? okay. They, are the, they are like a, like a shareholder. Mm. So that's why he was invited to, to go back to work with them. And because, okay, he also, at that time, working with, uh, if I can say the company name, like uh, LG. Okay. And also some other Taiwanese company who actually is going to ask us to support in North America. Mm. So I'm not the really first one. I'm not a really first pioneer, but he does. He was a pioneer, actually, who came to uh, Mexico in Mexicali. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that's how he set up his first can, uh, his company. Mm -hmm. And then we start really working that well. And then that's why, because he need to leave. And then I step into his position in China to continue to talk to the people from like US at that oh, time. Okay. So because, uh, you know, uh, as a packaging company, let's say this way, especially our material is really unique. Yeah. So not too many people are really fascinated about what is motor pole? So motor pole, if people really know about that, it's like a egg tray, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, most likely people can see that from the when you go to the Walmart or something. Instead of the plastic or foam one, okay, you can see those like a paper base. Yeah, those are uh, motor pole. So I think okay, that's a huge market, and then uh, we are doing something different. We're doing for the industrial packaging, which is uh, not packaging like egg. Industrial packaging more involved with anything that you guys can think of right now. If everybody can really kind of open everything like unboxing, okay, I think uh, there's a lot of YouTuber or podcaster like they will do unboxing when you unbox. Oh yeah, before. it's very famous. Everybody yeah, so yeah. people will see, oh, what's something new? What's it something inside? So yes, maybe a lot of people not pay attention on the packaging itself, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's a, a, a item. But actually, we have to involve with the the end customer, which is like HP. That was the very first one inspired me to come to North America to set up this factory in Juarez, Mexico. Mm, okay. So uh, what happened is uh, they really don't believe that uh, this is gonna this is gonna work because everybody using phone and phone are really cheap mm -hmm. and very affordable. You can get all those kind of material everywhere. So that's why it's easy for uh, the big company. They when they come up with the packaging material, they need to has no hesitation and then there's no restriction because okay. Maybe, yeah, here in China, okay, I can have the source. But what about in North America? What about in Europe? What about in uh, Brazil? Like, yeah, what is going to be the source material for those companies? If there's any factory that they see, they want to have a single source and right. then simple, and then everything will be globally. So that's why they're asking us if we want to be like a global partner with them. Okay. So that really opened my mind. And then that's why, because we also have, uh, my friend was the very first shot, uh, came to Mexico. So I'm becoming like a second shot. So that's why one from Mr. Kelly, we expanded to Waters. Because uh, at that time, uh, all the company who doing the assembly uh, yeah. for the HP computer are here in Waters in North America. And that was your number one client at the moment. Yeah, that's my number one client. So mm -hmm. that's why I came over here and become like uh, the ABO, which is like a direct vendor. So you came directly from China here? Yeah, after I had been in China only about like seven, eight months, uh, about mm -hmm. eight months. Mm -hmm. And then uh, because everything are well uh, developed and right. then they really tested, they liked it. And then they really feel like, okay, yeah, multiple really works. So it's quite different about, okay, other material because uh, at that time, I know motor pole, even we can produce, but not pretty. You know, right. a lot of people criticize, oh, motor pole doesn't look pretty, but we start making things are more prettier. So because of that, uh, my company, I also have to say that uh, I really learned a lot from my, my, my previous boss. Even though, okay, I'm become like my own uh, ownership right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But actually, uh, he inspired me for another thing because, okay, he has no hesitation to put the money out from the pocket. Okay. Because at that time, okay, you have really limited source you can get to know, especially as a packaging company, you know the end customer, which is normally like people know about the OEN or ODN. Okay. Yeah. So, so they are the, the big company, they producing everything for the for the big company. So at the end they are producing the they, they are developing the packaging. So at we, we don't really have a, that kind of opportunity to talk to the end customer. But because of that, uh, I just know a friend, okay, at that time. And because I, I like to make friends. So yeah. <laughs> they kinda help me out a little bit and kinda hook me out about okay, yeah, how there, that's their uh, email. So if you're interested, just talk to them, but don't say, Okay, I give you that yeah, yeah, number. Yeah. So we have to do a lot of cold call. And so as a, a, mar uh, a marketing people, you know that okay, a lot of things come from cold call. And uh, you don't know that, okay, what's going to return. Mm. But I think we just keep trying, keep penetrating, and then keep letting them know that, okay, yeah, we are here. Say hi to us or something. Okay, well, I can show you our facility. So at the end, they are one of the engineers are quite interested about it. And then that's how we, we, we really start doing a lot of direct business right afterwards. So uh, because of that, and because my, my, my boss just told me, do everything. So because you're young, right? You're a young gun, and you have no fear. Like I say, I also, I'm pretty kind of shameless, so I just keep sending the email. And just asking people out. And yeah. then trying to see how to grab their eyeballs. 
Okay. So and also the other really interesting is about okay. I also learned from my my ex、uh, boss because not only he pull out the money. Uh, to do the packaging because、mm-hmm. at that time nobody give you the budget. You have to using your own budget、mm-hmm. to create the packaging, and then open the tooling, everything, and produce something. Right. And then really do testing. So when that testing went well, that's why we can go in front to the end customer and say it really works. So so that 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 that's something that we you need to have a ball to 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 try to tell you that okay. When you invest something, right?、Mm-hmm. It's not everything gonna come back one hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so you need to test. So at the end, I think I learned from that, and also he also hired some、uh, students at that time to write a thesis, because because he collaborate with the、uh, with the Chinese、uh, like a、uh, tech school as well.、Mm. Those are technical schools, so especially they have a packaging like a、uh, like a program. So people learn how to do the packaging design or industrial packaging design, something like that. So he picked the school, and then he kind of volunteered to say that, okay, yeah, we can offer the scholarship. Okay. So that's also open another, another good like a、uh, forest for me about okay, well, okay, because you want to do business, not only because okay, you 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 want to invest, but you need to find somebody who is liable. You see, you need to find a credential. So the credential come from the school. It because if he offer the scholarship and then also at the end that those project really works, definitely that okay. Not only it doing some investment, but also you start creating the credential. Right. So when we talking to HP and it, it be far beyond like not only HP like Dell or whatever our clients, that thesis really kick ass. Like people really know that okay, wow, okay, you even. Persuade the school professor to collaborate with you, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. okay, everybody know phone, okay, plastic packaging well for the past like what thirty forty years,、mm-hmm. but when people want to learn about multiple, it was also a good timing because、uh, Europe, the Euro actually has a、uh, their、uh, the the restriction about it's called Rojas. Mm. Rohs, Rohs, yeah, yeah. So the Rohs basically also asking everything like coming into Europe has to be compiled with the Rohs system,、uh, the the standard, not system, the the standard. The standard means okay, not only you are、uh, see you are using the material, right?、Mm. Trying to reduce the plastic at that time, I think European are really pioneer about telling people, okay, what is good things, do sustainable, sustainable.、Yeah. That's a key word as well. So at that time, all the big big company when they sell it to to Europe and also to Canada, they have to write down how many percentage of recyclable recycle content.、Mm. So because that recycle content is so unique and also really new, so people are still people start thinking about. If I using plastic, are they recyclable? Yeah, those phone are they recyclable? So people start thinking about okay, and also、uh, people start learning about those plastic, right? Even you putting into the soil, and、yeah. also you burn it, you will create a lot of carbon dioxide and everything. So it's it's like an emission.、Mm-hmm. But motor pole perfectly timing because、uh, when you're using motor fiber,、uh, those are just、uh, the waste cardboard we call OCC. Okay,、mm. o corrugated、uh, boxes. Okay, so cardboard, yeah, cardboard. Yeah. So those are actually people's waste. We turn waste into something usable. Yeah, and also we can using the newspaper, as, as especially back in、uh, year two thousand or even earlier. I know a lot of young people doesn't read newspaper anymore, but actually there's a newspaper, and newspaper made by <laughs> made by fiber as well. <laughs> so <laughs> frankly speaking, those are our raw material. So we really turn into a lot of people's daily waste、mm-hmm. into some. Thing possible, so that that really catch the Europeans eyeballs. So they say, okay, we want to try to using motor pole. So that's why it's kind of forcing those big company who going to sell their product at the end going into Euro market、mm-hmm. have to compile with something like that. That's why motor pole become like viral. Like oh, everybody want to using motor pole, but the people who bring us over to North America was because okay, yes, how we start working with HP. So eventually, that、uh, I really talking around about what my background, or my what I study, yeah, yeah and、definitely. also how I really get into this business because my friend and also my ex boss inspire a lot of the way of my thinking.、Mm. So it really put me over here to Mexico. Even when I was here、uh, back in two thousand and five and six, like late two thousand five, early two thousand six. So we start setting up the 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 factory, but because we are not a big company, so it sounds like really like an entrepreneur because、uh, the the boss doesn't give you a lot of resources. Okay, he only say that、uh, okay, hey, 
you know that we have only one client right now. It's uh, HP. So go find a factory. So I need to come over here to do the, the site hunting. Right, and now, you came by yourself. Yes, I came by myself, and then at that time I only speak English. So a lot of people say, "How are you communicate with your with, with the local people?" Yeah, of course you need to find somebody who speaks English like you, and also we hire another young lady. Actually, mm. she is my uh, translator. Okay, and then uh, to this day, yeah, th at that time, at that time, yeah. Huh? So wow, that th actually we we have been through a lot of rough time. Right, because you know what you have your boss behind you and always like calling Looking you and out, make sure yeah. has everything because you are the only one over here. He doesn't know what is the status, mm -hmm. especially on um, behind of him. Also, the customer and customer, which is like HP, always asking. Okay, you say you're gonna finish by this time. Are you gonna be on time? Because we're gonna we're gonna introduce to the entire world about okay, we're gonna using your motor pole. Mm -hmm. If you screwed up, no, we're not gonna choosing you. We're not gonna consider this. So yeah, that's yeah. why I have, have something a time that, yeah. that I have to accommodate. I have to come. Uh, I need to accomplish. Let's say this way. So that's why it been forcing me to keep pushing a lot of things. So at the end, okay. Uh, register company and then looking for the site and then communicate with the local like a government and then also apply all kind of all the permissions permission everything that's not fun at, at all but uh, yes we try to overcome everything until everything set it up EI uh, start working on 2006 and then and how big was the team at that time well at that time you know just like I said, at the very beginning, only myself and mm -hmm. also one of the Taiwanese girl uh, who is my translator. Okay. And then I hired the first employee mm -hmm. who is Maida. I think you met her. Oh, yeah, I did. I yeah, met her. Maida at that time. I have to say that, okay. I think because, once again, when you're trying to do something, you have to understand about, okay, what driven you. Mm -hmm. If you have nothing to driven you or you're always being forced, then you know what? You are not self motivated, right? My self motivated because okay, my my boss also asking me okay, he want to keep me right. That's why he say okay, you want to be a shareholder. Mm -hmm. Of course, that will help you to kind of keep yourself here. Otherwise, if you if you just working for other people, let's say this way, if you even do like one million dollar, so what? It's not yours. Yeah, you're not driven. You're not. Uh, yeah. yeah. So so that's why he offered me become like a partnership. So that's okay. why I, I really doing myself and driven myself. And that's why, okay, every single penny I, you have to consider, okay, that's come from your pocket as well. So I think when people give you opportunity, you just need to think about it. If mm -hmm. you want to take it, take it, but take it seriously. Especially I have no nothing to look back. So I'm here. And then uh, plus, okay, at that time, at the very beginning, when we don't even have a building, me, myself, and also the translator, and also my first uh, uh, employee, who actually be a, how can I say, she was a, a front desk. Okay. You know, front desk, she knows everybody, because everybody walked in, right? So I have to greeting, and then looking for who. So she always, oh, this guy, looking for this guy for the compla, mm -hmm. which is buyer. Mm -hmm. So so he knows, okay, what are they doing? So she is really, also she's young at, at that time. So she kind of remember everything. Okay. So I don't know in one time, I don't know why, but somebody just kind of introduced me. Okay, hey, you're going to start hiring people, right? I still remember that. Okay, yeah, talking to this young lady, I think she's quite active. So next time when I go visit the, the factory, that's also one of the Taiwanese company. Mm. I'm sorry I have to say that, but people <laughs> don't come after me, but... Uh, I start asking her because she always really friendly. Yeah, you she know, always knew everybody. You know, it's not only me myself. I give him my chance to to really doing business over here. Mm -hmm. You also at that time you need to appreciate somebody maybe around you can help you as well. So I figure out she's quite friendly, especially every time when I walked into that factory, she always greeting me, and then she thinks that not only while we are waiting for the people to come out to take us in, mm -hmm. there's also other company coming in, and she always can handle things very well. And know the people, so that's why I, I have really good impression about okay, okay, this girl know how to do things, and then really friendly, approachable. That's a that's a key word. So uh, when I really going to set up the company, I start ask her like, okay, hey, what do you think about it? So you want to come over to be my first like employee? Yeah, and she committed. So I think. I think that's another thing that okay, when people are trying to give you commitment, it's not about. Me, I give my my word to my wife, right? Mm -hmm. The commitment, like you, 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 because you you feel like okay, she's the right person. So that's why even she's not married to me, but you want to create something and also give her a vision. So at the end, she likes it. So after a couple of time talking, we start working. But where are we working? We already rent the building at that time. Okay. At the very beginning, we we are, we are even not set up the the factory yet. 
So we have we're just in the office. She's so still in the air, and there's no office, only in my apartment. And then when she first comes into my house, I would just say, "Don't feel awkward. <laughs> you gotta walk inside my house at the beginning." But she's no hesitate. Right. right. She's fearless as well. I think you always need to give people like some trust. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know nowadays learning how to give away your trust is not easy. But uh, I think we are just so naive at that time. But I, I think I'm the good person. So I think that she can, uh, she feel like okay. She I'm could sense that. Yeah. She can sense that. So mm. at the end, everything just come out well. So after that, and then we we choose the location. Right. I put the payment, and then they start doing the 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 tenant improvement, right? Because a facility once you set it up, you need to make sure everything need to be as what you need it. Mm-hmm. So we start working where at uh, Cars Junior. Okay. You know, just like McDonald. If people doesn't know that, like McDonald, like okay, at that time they offer Wi-Fi. At that time, that back, was just perfect. Back in two thousand six, <laughs> you know what? That's that's great. You you need to work some places, but you need to have an internet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. they offer Wi Fi, and that time was really like new idea. I think young people doesn't know like Wi Fi really come come across at that time. Mm-hmm. So if you have Wi Fi, then okay, that's easy for us to start working everything. So we've been working at the at the like uh, like McDonald's uh, and also like the the car studio for more than six, seven, around seven months. I think I'm not exaggerating, like five months at least. Because okay. Because the building is not ready, you're not even... This is 2005, right? 2005, yeah, yeah. yeah late 2005, late 2005, to, 2005 yeah. to early 2006. Yeah. So we've been there like until everything settled, we move in and then that's how we kind of start taking off. But you know what? Um, if you ask me um, if everything gonna go just as smooth as this, no, it's hard. Especially when you have a machine coming in. It's more people that like, you need to take care of. A lot of technicians come from China. They never can, they never go out of the world. They only know oh, everybody looks like Chinese. Mm. Until they come to Mexico, they are really just like, wow. Okay, so you have to take care of a lot of people. And then that's how we start, like, uh, develop, uh, like, set up all the equipment Okay. to start running. So I think we can jump over that, but uh, after a little about six, uh, almost around seven, six, seven months, we finally set up everything. We start running the factory. The first year was quite okay because 2006, but everybody probably know about, okay, if you look back the calendar, 2007, 2008. 2009, 2010. Well, yeah. that was a nightmare because uh, that was a, that was a like economic collapse, you mm-hmm. know, and then, um, and there's a lot of things like right now going to your weight, especially you set up, you doing all the investment over there. You're just waiting for the return. And right. then you finally get the just one business. We come for just one business. Right. HP, they give you a, a huge commitment for sure. They will give you this much of a purchase order. Mm-hmm. So that's why we're trying to fulfill everything. And then while we start running okay, then the economy hit, so just like the past three years, like pandemic, right? So everything just like shrink. So uh, there's a lot of violence. Everybody probably aware of that during that time. Uh, globally, especially people call war as a war zone. Because yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. So uh, of course, that was my first uh, uh, impact, like, like impact me huge. Mm-hmm. So at the end, I don't know how to handle, but I'm just by myself. I was growing up to 200 people, and because of that, I dropped down down to only 10 people. Right. Uh, it was huge, because n- even HP, they would rather, like, they can position all their sources, right? So at that time, here is really unco- uh, uh, not safe. Mm-hmm. And also, the, because the economy, like, shrink. So they would rather build something from overseas and then ship all the way here. So mm-hmm. that's why everything go to go back to Asia. Right, right. And right. here, like, literally, I have nothing to do. So I was so nervous at that time. So 2007 and eight, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was a nightmare for me. But also, if I was sitting over there, like looking at the people, like from 200, 100, 50, 30, 20, and 10. So I was really like, I don't know what else I can do. Because, okay, yes, there's just a little orders, but not that much because nothing is being built over here. And plus, okay, uh, the security at that time was really bad as well. Yeah, how did you handle that within the company? Like, did oh, yeah. you open the full time, half time? Uh, what was that? At that time, I was running like like nearly three ship, right? Mm-hmm. Because, uh, it's pretty busy. Mm-hmm. Down to two ship, down to one ship, down to not even ship, <laughs> no wow. ship at all. Just maintain a simple like a uh, connection with the customer. So right. only office people and only three to four 
operate people. See, mm-hmm. my office down to only five, and then maybe operator down to five as well. That's it. So you have a big building over there, and then you suddenly doesn't know what to do. So uh, that that's how you really start asking yourself that okay, uh, it's not always like a sunshine mm-hmm. in my life. You know, I always think okay, there's a lot of sunshine in my life, and now I have to facing a lot of challenges right mm-hmm. now. So, mm-hmm. so how to really turn around like you are always optimistic. I was really negative at that time, very mm. pessimistic. I start asking myself, okay, what am I doing here? And then when you walk outside, you know, a lot of violence just outside of a building. So you really feel discouraged a lot and then asking yourself why you are here. And plus that uh, when 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 the news go vital, right? Especially the, the dangers over here. So my parents, my families, everything are, uh, everybody really asked me, okay, Alex, when I, don't worry about it, if this has happened, it's unexpected, right? Right. So why not changing something else? Mm-hmm. Why are you still there? Because you know what? Actually, I, 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 how I started because okay, I'm the I'm the a shareholder as well at that time. And um, how am I raised my my money because it was from my love money from my families. Mm. So yeah, it's not because okay, if they losing this one million dollar, for example, and then it's end of the world. I know, so that's why I say, you know, don't worry about that money. So you know what? If it doesn't work, then just go back, and then we can do something else. But I, I also tell myself, I always grew. I all my life, I'm, I think I'm pretty quite confident about. Okay, I can overcome everything. I am invincible. Right. At that time, you're still like uh, below thirty years old. Like you are fearless. Once again, I'm still feel even every day. Like people ask me about, okay, what's going on in water? I say, okay, I just see a lot of gun shooting, like every day. And I, are you okay? And I say, yeah. I just feel like I'm like a war, like a journalist, you know, and (laughs) I always live report to people like what's going on over there. But uh, I think those live really came over the first half year and then I was worried and then I start get used of it. Okay. When you start get used of it and then that's why you start asking about, okay, yes, even your parents doesn't ask you money back. I think that's really easy, like, because that's a lot of money. But you really tell yourself that, okay, no, no, no. I think if things going well, what's going to happen? If you withdraw, then you got you nothing. Never know. Yeah. Yeah. So I just keep going. I'm just tell myself and then um, like try my best about. I'm driving around the city and try to look for. Okay, are there any other facilities still running? Mm-hmm. And what's their name? And then what are they doing? So luckily, yes, because uh, some fun company actually because the function they can like become like a global resources right some factory like actually they really localize they localize because they really need to supporting from north america mm-hmm. not something that you can just import it from asia so i i bump into some other new uh company because uh i tried to knock their door they always feel like okay i'm the terrorist or something right you know? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so it's pretty funny about saying no 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 look at my face i'm chinese yeah i know yeah. i'm not chinese i'm asian so I, I come from peace yeah i'm not come from like uh, ask for ransom uh-huh. or something so really so some people really let me because at that time maybe not a lot of people really doing a lot of things and then they know i'm i'm i'm, I'm peace so they start letting me in to start talking to them. I try to introduce, okay, myself and also the company, what we do whatsoever. So yeah, I, I wait until a company, I don't know if I can mention the name. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah it's a Lexmark. Yeah. I don't know if people know Lexmark. It's also another joint of doing the printer as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they are not building the printer in in, in Juarez or in Mexico. They built uh, the printer in China, which is I learned that already. So when I walk driving around, that's why I figure out oh, there's a Lexmark. Mm-hmm. At that time in Juarez, there's more than three building Lexmark mm-hmm. over there. So now even down to one, uh, make a one. Okay. But anyways, okay, what they do is in Juarez, they, they produce the, the laser cartridge. Right. Yeah, like a in like a you know if you're using the ink cartridge, right, and then they're building the laser cartridge, and then the laser cartridge means okay, it's for office use, mm-hmm. or like school, and then people using that a lot, so they are not gonna move away, and um, because they build it in water, so that's why at the end, okay, normally they build more than thirty to fifty thousand cartridges per day. Okay. That's a decent volume. That's a decent volume, and then what I learned, I would just say, wow, okay, I really have to do something. Because they are represent something like quite consistent, mm-hmm. so uh, they invite me to walk around their facility, and then they really challenging me about okay, what I- what is the multiple? What can I do about that? And then I remember when I was in China, okay, because I also involved same thing. I was mentioned about uh, LG and also Samsung. Mm-hmm. They also building their printer over there in China, and then they do 
uh, at that time study about using multiple. So because we are in the industry, mm -hmm. we have those picture, and we see people developing that. So that's why I show them that okay, see your culture, you can using this. Have you thought about it? And then they they different options of what yeah, they can use. and then because now uh, at that time they were using. You know, uh, if people doing the packaging, I think people would know that what is called die cut. Yeah. You know, like die cut cardboard. So frankly speaking, you're die cutting, and then but you need to fold it. Mm -hmm. When you fold it into shape to do the packaging like a cushion, right? It would take a lot of time. So uh, our motor pole just like already mounted as a cavity, like a shape. So that's why they just bang, bang put it into the box. I show them how fast relative, like, okay, you need to hire like multiple people just on your production at, at the beginning, you have to fold it. So at the end, think about your material cost, think about your uh, labor cost and also the efficiency on mm -hmm. the production floor. Definitely. So at the, at the end, they, they, they buy the idea. And also I told them that, okay, using our material is quite uh, environmental friendly. That's the key word, environmental friendly. So, because I got the chance to walk around and see how they assemble, I can say, okay, I can successfully reduce the time instead of your production line every day, every ship, mm -hmm. you would you can pack less uh, five thousand pieces. No, using our material, you can increasing at least twenty percent. So that's why they increase and then reduce the people. Right. So they like it. So uh, because of that, and also I see the possibility because I using because uh, they doing the laser drum, uh, laser cartridge, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they print a lot of paper. And they need to do the test print. So they print a lot of A4 paper. Those A4 paper they have to keep printing and then see how consistent of their cartridge, right? Mm -hmm. The the life lasts and then how many paper? Okay, maybe you print after five thousand pieces, and maybe the the color will start shatter. So they need to make sure all the consistency. Yeah. So that's a quality check. So every day they need to bring more than like two tons to three tons of paper. That's a lot. So because of that, I say, wow, okay. So if you have that much of paper, then why not I convert your paper? Because that's your scrap, right? Mm -hmm. What did you do? They say, normally they give away or people recycle, they, they, yeah. they take it. So I say, would you ever think about using your material become your 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 packaging mm -hmm, material, mm -hmm. so that become like a life circle. Right. See, your factory produce that because you are testing your quality. That's why you have to do all the process. See, and then when you create a waste, why not giving me those waste and turn into something your packaging? So once again, I also cost down for them because they offer their 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 material. Right. So that's a win win plus another win, plus another win is uh, they also reduce their cost. Right. So at the end, uh, they they really using one model, two model, and implement to every model, and then they start telling the the team in China because they also build in China. Mm -hmm. So they start also introducing this idea into China. So that's why in China people also using the same way. Okay. Yeah. So I remember back in two thousand eight or nine. Yeah, I think two thousand eight or nine. And then uh, Lexma was also earned a customer award. The what does that mean is going here because the end customer they will select something they think that okay it's appreciate for the environment, mm -hmm. so they earn the crown for the entire uh, nations in U.S. So I was pure proud of it, yeah, because I was part of it, and then uh, they also earned that because of my idea. So which right, is right, I right. think that that's good. So I think you never stop thinking about what's going to happen, and when you see something, maybe just a, a glass of sight. You don't know what is it, but I can just tell them, okay, you see that? I can turn that into something good for you. So at the end, uh, I start create some kind of reputation mm -hmm. among the, the industry. So people start knowing, okay, who we are, what we do. So especially uh, when HP come back and say, oh, you're still here? I say, yeah, I'm still here. Surprise. Yeah, so uh, they give me more opportunity. Okay. And then, inter uh, and then to Dell computer as well because uh, they learned about from HP already mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's why they think okay those multiple also works so during the, the, the those difficult time around 2007 8 or even 9 when they come back everything about 2010 they start using the material already in Asia okay. so that's why I say okay yeah it's about time we're gonna use it here in North America so that's why we also start doing the North America as well so not only that, and then another third uh, big company, which is called uh, Lenovo as well, they also see that, okay, they're, they are produ they're producing in uh, Monterey. Mm. So they say, okay, yeah, hey, you are here. So not only from HP and then Dell, and then, hey. Lenovo, remember. Hello, yes, can you do that for us? So also I delivered to Lenovo. So really opened my mind, and also because you, you, you don't give up. Mm -hmm. I know that it's easy for me to give up, because I, like I say, 
I I never worry about a lot of things from my life, mm -hmm. financial wise, everything like my par my parent give me a lot of things that I need. So I really appreciate that opportunity and also how I grow up. Even though I also talking to my grandpa, and my grandpa at that time was still uh, alive, but she he passed away uh, after around 2010. Okay, but during my most difficult time, <laughs> my factory is now doing anything. But he still always give me some encouragement, mm. so I I miss him a lot. But he he also as a my family's entrepreneur. Okay. He actually collaborate with the Japanese people mm -hmm. to doing something really really interesting. I don't know have I ever mentioned to no, you? No, no. What was it? It's a it's a zipper. It's a YKK zipper. The YKK. The YKK zipper. Yeah. So we are the very first one to collaborate with the Japanese okay. overseas. Yeah, because of my my grandpa at that time back in nineteen fifty, I think fifty to sixties. Uh -huh. Yeah, when he was really young, and then he started fearless about like you know after everything after World War Two, right? Yeah, everything like rebuilt, Japan as well, and then they come out with a lot of really brilliant like a uh, industry, mm -hmm. like a uh, uh, the the for example like a machine sewing machine everything. So that's why it, it proved a lot of people the closing at that time, and. When you have a clothes, uh, most people will think about either the button, right, or yeah. maybe the zippers. So really, my my grandpa just seeking the opportunity and then feel like okay, that could be a future. So once again, I just trying to learn from his path, wow, and trying to know that okay, how did he have this kind of guts to sending? At that time, there's no email, my friend. Okay, <laughs> we're talking about sending a letter or even not a letter. We call that even how do you call that? Like a code, you know, you're using those code. a telegraph, telegraph or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then send it to Japan. Yeah, and then contact them, and then they send it back. You know, Taiwan has really interesting, full of uh, culture because yes. okay, we also being ruling by Japan once. So a lot of my grandpa's uh, age. People speak Japanese mm. because okay, they were they were educated with the Japanese. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was an official language at that time. So, anyways, uh, we are really complex with our culture and also a lot of uh, the the background. So that's why we we learn how to be respectful because Japanese they really respectful a lot of things and also they do things to tell it uh, to detail. Mm -hmm. So that really gave me a lot of uh, inspiration and also telling me that okay, yeah. If my my grandpa at that time could do it, why can't I? Especially he walked through the Second World War. You know, he was literally at that the moment, and mm -hmm. then he's still trying to hold up to the family. He actually was my grandpa, but my grandpa said that once, his money can support five generations. What okay. does that mean? Because when he and his dad and his grandparents, and not only his generation, also my dad, also. Mm -hmm. My generation, mm -hmm. that's already five generation. Even our, my son as well. So not only five, it's six generations. So I really admire when he say that. I feel like he's pretty cocky, but you know what? <laughs> Nowadays, when you really think back, uh, wow. But wait, your grandfather created like a mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? A, a factory, a factory, manufacturing, manufacturing. of YKK in in Taiwan. In Taiwan, yeah, because I know at that time uh, Taiwan also have a policy. I think globally, like everywhere, the same. Like you need to find a local partner, right? Right. You cannot be uh, so like uh, in investors, like a foreign investor. So uh, that's why that will also continue to my why I choosing the Nippon Molding as my partner yes, as well. Okay, because that's interesting. also Japanese. So there's so many things, just like. If my, my 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 family already give me that path, why are you abandon it? Even though I know that okay, what I do is totally different from my family's. Mm -hmm. And then uh, of course, right now we are not necessary to run the entire business because okay, Japanese will take care of that. But I think from the Japanese spirits, like they really go to everything detail. So I really like that. And also my when I was young, I. I don't like my grandpa a lot because he normally doesn't talk that much, but right. he's, he's like a s giant in front of me. Mm -hmm. He's not that tall, but actually he, he say everything like everybody in my family, we all respect. So again, I really just uh, really admire what he have done for my family. And that's why I really asked myself at that time, when 2007, I always look at the store and say, okay, what's wrong with the, the, the world? Like why this has happened to me? So I really just, Tell myself, just keep up, lay low and keep up. 
She was your role model. Yeah, 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 that's a role model. And then at the end, yeah, it proved that, okay, it really worked. Even though he already passed away, I just back to Taiwan and told him that, okay, hey, Grandpa, I did it. It's not easy. I know uh, only when you really as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you know a lot of up and you also know, nobody knows you're down, to be honest. Even though something could be good, something is no good, but you don't want to mention about it. But yes, I think why people's success, there's always a story behind of it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so at the end, I just feel like uh, if she give me really a role model, I hope that I what I can create is, you know, nowadays maybe my kids are living the good life. They are in Canada. Mm -hmm. They also they was in Taiwan or everywhere. I always want to tell them that okay, whatever you have is nothing easy. Come from come from hard. Especially I work in Mexico. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. There's a lot of thing. Maybe when I tell them, they don't know what's going on or what happened. But only myself knows. So I just want to share to people that okay, if you really trying to consider something, right? Never give up. To be honest, when you give up, then even you think, okay, hey, maybe you open the other door, which is I know. But instead of open your door, especially I already choosing as entrepreneur, mm -hmm. it's not something you just find a job and then you switch another job. It's not that easy. Even you think that you're capable. But once you become an entrepreneur and you want to set the role model, it's like, okay, never give up. Because once you give up, then you give up yourself because you just abandon whatever you thought. Yeah, and then you will never know what's gonna yeah, be. But you know what? You line. never know that. Okay, maybe I change the the other the other way to do business. Maybe there's another future. It's not only this, right? So I don't know, but at least I just tell myself, okay, keep going. Okay. Yeah. So at the end, yes, I I I I start not only stabilize with my business in North America, and then that's how I also start uh, elaborate to Asia, back to Asia. And what gave you the idea to expand to Thailand, I guess? You know, actually, uh, that also comes from other opportunity because, okay, uh, since you've been doing a lot of business with those uh, North America corporations, mm -hmm. and, of course, they always have a lot of operation in Asia. I know I have my partner, which is after that I took over 100% the shareholder from my uh, ex-boss. That's why I say to my boss. Right. So I become, like, everything I operate my own. So at that time, uh, HP... <laughs> Wave, wave the hand and say, okay, so we know uh, you guys in China, which is my, my, my boss. Mm -hmm. He has a factory in China. What about Southeast Asia? So Southeast Asia, okay, what do you mean? So they start telling us about, what about Thailand? Mm -hmm. You know, actually, that's another thing. Going to Thailand, that's really, it's not because out of my picture, because you know what, once you have a reputation, mm -hmm. then people want to give you opportunity. They, that's why they, they ask you, okay, hey, when I'm asking you to North America, you make it happen. When now I'm trying to ask you to Thailand, would you go? Of course, you start thinking about why not. Yeah, you go, you see the opportunity and then you take it. And in. then, you know, Thailand for me, it's like a paradise. You know, uh, when I was young, because we always travel to different countries, right? right? During the summer break or winter break or something. So I always have a good, um, how can I say, the, the, the good impression. Okay. Going to Thailand. It let me go, when I go to Thailand, even the first time when I go in there as a business, that was a back to like seven, yeah, seven, oh, eight years ago already, eight years ago. Okay. So if now it's 2022, eight years, like 2014, yeah. 14, 15. Around mm -hmm. 2014, yes, okay. Uh, they, they start asking me about going there. So I went there. Uh, even we went to Malaysia as well. Okay. But uh, Malaysia at that time, it was because of Dyson. <laughs> okay. Because uh, in Wallace, I was doing the uh, Hoover, you know, the Hoover, the vacuum. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yes, yeah. so I doing a lot of model of the, the, the vacuum, like a packaging. The packaging for the vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you want to ask me how, how many companies I do for the packaging, I mean, a lot, but I cannot name each one. But yes, at that time I was doing that. So when uh, my boss at that time, already not my boss, become like a partner, but I already took everything percent, 100 percent. But because he asked me, so I went to I went to Malaysia to talk to uh, Dyson. Okay. Because he said, okay, yeah, if you're doing that, because he is interested to invest over there. So that's why he said, okay, why not come over here and then tell them about your experience for doing Hoover and then can you do the Dyson because it's all the vacuum system, right? So right. I said, yeah, sure, why not? So I went there and then trying to talk to the people from Dyson and then, yes, they also using Motopo right now. So once again, my friend, there's so many things that maybe just because, because you are accountable. 
Yeah. So people really believe that okay, you can do that. So that's why they start using it. So uh, it's not doesn't mean that okay, I change a lot for this industry. It's just like okay, we're just trying to prove that this industry, this c- packaging material, mm-hmm. really works. So at the end, a lot of people start start thinking about oh, why now we're using this for something? Even if you open the iPhone, iPhone also really early adapt. From iPhone 7, it was the very first model. They start using multiple as mm-hmm. their tray. The mm-hmm. phone, when you guys open the, the rigid box, right? Inside, there's a piece of uh, white, white, white tray to carry the phone. That's not a plastic. That's a multiple. So, yes. And that can be so detailed and also being uh, perfectly. Yeah, exquisite also. Exquisite, yeah. the luxur- luxury views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so at that time, it's taking a lot of time to do the developing, but at the end, okay, it works. So that's why... Even Apple, yeah, using multiple, my friend. So uh, after that, so it, it really opened for the industry, not only for the big packaging material, mm-hmm. going to exquisite luxury luxury packaging. Mm-hmm. So now a lot of luxury packaging also start using multiple. It's not a standard, like a corrugated color. It start using, uh, we call it a sugar cane. It's called baguette. Sugar cane is also, it's uh, the fiber. It's right. for the, the plant fiber. We call that is agricultural waste. Mm-hmm. You know, when you start using the corrugated OCC, because those are like a uh, wood, right? After you cut down wood. So when we say we are very environmental friendly, blah, blah, blah. You're still people, cutting the wood. But people yeah. say, but you, you harvest the tree, you know what? You, you harm the appetite or everything. Yeah, 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 so. yeah, yeah. But people doesn't know that there's so many trees over there. And then we are not cutting the tree. We're just using people the waste of the box. Yeah. And then we just turn that into something. But people were still kind of attacking you. And what is the percentage of the recycling material that you use, like, for example, uh, with cardboard boxes? No, actually, 100%. It's 100%. You know, actually, right, uh, yeah. our material doesn't really add in any other stuff because everything just like a fiber, mm-hmm. okay? But even though you can add in some other additive, for example, like people want to have different feeling and texture or something, that's why we're adding something. When people really talking about, okay, hey, uh, are there something else? So that's why Dale was the very first one to start challenging that. So that's why Dale using bamboo. You know, bamboo in mm. China, you know, it's everywhere. Yeah. And then especially bamboo. We talk about tree, right? Tree, like you grow like like 30 year, 40 year. Finally, you can, you can chop you it. You cut it down. Yeah. yeah, but you know, bamboo, it grows every year. You chop down next year, they go back up. You chop it, they go back up. So it's just like nonstop. So that becomes really valuable, like uh, resources. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's an agricultural waste. Because if you don't have to cut it, right? It's still gonna fall, so you will use it. Not only that, like before I mentioned about sugar cane, that's another thing. And sugar cane is something just like bamboo, they grow every year, they grow every year. So those are become like uh, before, people think that that's an like agriculture waste, now become agriculture waste, be turned into, turn into something economical. Mm-hmm. So we told those farmers, okay, don't throw it. Give it you to us. Sell yeah, it. Yeah, sell it. You yeah. say give it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, people <laughs> say you need to pay for it. Sure, yeah, yeah we definitely. can pay for it. Yes. So that's why they also have uh, some other uh, side uh, residual income, right? Mm-hmm. Because, okay, not only what they grow for something, and then when they become like a waste, we can still use it. Mm-hmm. So that's why people now using more variety of raw material, not only for the wood. So agriculture way, for example, I have mentioned about the uh, baguettes. And sugar king, which is baguette, and also the bamboo, the bamboo, and also uh, the wheat as well, the okay. wheat straw, the wheat as well. Yeah. So everything are coming to more possible. That's why sustainability really mm-hmm. come into the place. That okay, well, okay. So you have really turned a lot of different things into something usable. So, but unfortunately, those kind of materials still have some kind of regional restrictions because okay, uh, uh, what about the country doesn't have a baguette? Mm. then you don't have that kind of raw material. So we, we is more like everywhere. Yeah, it's more convenient. And bamboo only in Asia. So that's why those are only regional. But uh, we really changing to something, for example, in Mexico, like agave. Okay. Yeah, people like tequila, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we they also do. learned something about it, and that could be a future as a because everybody drink tequila, and you have a lot of <laughs> you have a lot of waste for the for the agave. Okay. Yeah. So, so you can so turn that into pulp as well. Yeah, that also being studied about it and could be possible in the future. Interesting. Yeah. And in Mexico, I think when people buying their their packaging, you can smell it because it smells like tequila. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So that's a that that's a natural ingredient. So, anyways, I think. Multiple really go into another industry, uh, not, not industry, going into very variety, 
like people always challenging us for mm -hmm. something, but you trying to turn that challenging into something uh, new. Because if you nobody want to challenge you, you don't know how to grow. You just feel comfortable. Just, oh, okay, just OCC, OCC, OCC. Newspaper, newspaper, newspaper. When there's no newspaper, then hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna exactly. do? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, and what about later on when people doesn't using the curriculum anymore or using less? But I think now nowadays we have more boxes because everybody buy from the Amazon. So right. we are not too worried about that. <laughs> but frankly <laughs> speaking, yet, yeah. there's always people think about okay, what else you can do? Okay. Yeah, so that's how we're gonna answer to the industry about what about this, what about that about those yeah and also multiple people using us uh cushion right, to replacing the phone because phone become like because not environmental friendly yeah and also who's going to recycle it nobody going to recycle it so at the end you turn those into something very easy because a multiple once again just natural fiber what does that mean is okay when you tux it to the soil after six to eight months it will biodegrade it mm -hmm. because those bacteria in the, on the soil they will eat it so that's why it's biodegraded 100 percent. so that's why you don't need to worry about even you throwing to the if you're really irresponsible you throw something to the to the street or something yeah that can be it will biodegrade way you'll biodegrade it on time. Uh, or yeah people right now see uh, some people doing the recycling right so those are also fiber we can reuse again mm. so see then either you become like a trash or you can turn it into something usable again so that's why people really love to have this idea not only that, right now, when we mentioned about the agricultural waste, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily everything going to the packaging. Now people, nowadays, you can see those utensils. You see those uh, tableware. Yeah, 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 yeah. The tableware utensils, for example, right now, people also come up with the knife, fork, and also the spoon. They're using yeah, yeah, yeah. multiple as well right now. And then also the, the plates, right? The yeah. plate, for sure. Yeah, so those are using the agricultural waste. So that's mm -hmm. why people doesn't feel like, okay, the FDA will not give you a lot of hard time. Like where you got those uh, cardboard uh, from the floor, really? <laughs> so you turn that into people using to yeah, eat. Yeah, okay. So so that, that will be higher uh, uh, standard. So yeah, whatever the food chain, yeah, exactly. So different. now going into the food industry. Mm -hmm. So when you're gonna ask me what is multiple can do, just watch and learn. There will be a lot of things will be changed to something very really feasible. Yeah. yeah, to replace plastics that are being used. Not only plastic, right but now. there's so many things that could be pl uh, placed with the motor pole. Even people think that okay, those are just paper, right? And mm -hmm. are you waterproof? Yeah, it's waterproof and oil proofed. So everything is possible. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And bringing it back uh, to Thailand, uh, mm -hmm. you started operations there in 2015, I believe. Yes. And you began growing there. Uh, because of the agriculture industry or what was the no actually because motivation? remember uh, the reason i'm going to thailand was also because of hp yeah of course so we also go there because they make a lot of printers over mm -hmm. there so you can see uh all the house house uh, like a um, not the laser printer is the the inject yeah if okay you say the inject yeah, yeah. printer inject, right yeah around 70 percent of the the global like uh, hp printer are actually come out thailand Okay. So if you see that and telling if inside with the motor fiber, hello, my friend, that could be my <laughs> material as well. Yeah. And not only that, uh, the Thailand giving me, because I, it, it gave me another opportunity back to Asia because Asia people are doing something more high end. Because for example, if you're going to produce something big, right? If you're going to ship all the way from Asia to North America, mm -hmm. the cost and lead time it's not going to be friendly because you need to pay a lot of freight so people will rather build something small in asia for example like cell phone right right you will not see like even apple was being asked by uh the donald trump before like would that be any possible to bring back to north america i think it's going to be hard right now whatever you pay like uh one thousand dollar for your iphone mm -hmm. if really come back people really give the studies more than three thousand and you're going to pay three thousand dollars just for the for the iphone i think you're going to be like wow what are you talking about? So eventually that why those are still stay in Asia because okay, some uniqueness because they are small. So that's why they can ship one container more than like a hundred thousand pieces mm -hmm. or uh, 80,000 uh, cell phones. So that's why it makes sense because uh, each container low only like standard price about like what? 8,000, 6,000. And the packaging needs to be small as well. It needs to be and compressed. Everything is small. So that's why yeah. they don't really have to build something in North America. Mm -hmm. So that's why in North America, the, the, the typical clients, right? Even it's the same client, but the, the size of the product is quite different. Mm -hmm. So that's why I involve something more like a small and then luxury. So that's why I build something luxury products over there in Asia. So it diverse my, my design team 
to not only focusing on the large part, okay. but also the small part. But something also gave me to me about you know North America, people doesn't really using uh, air conditioner that much. You know, right now it's getting hotter, so people yeah. will start having those small one, right? You know, in 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 Taiwan oh, when yeah. we were there, yeah, like yeah, those yeah. Uh, in house small one, right? Individual house they need to have one. So the yes, mini split, I guess we call it. Yeah. yeah. So so air air conditioner. Mm-hmm. So yes, we also start doing the air conditioning packaging. Okay. I cannot expose the name, but yes, it's pretty pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Yes. And then uh, I also learned recently because uh, North America is getting hotter. Mm-hmm. They also expand to North America, so I think yeah, sooner or later, I think I can have another service parts, maybe going all the way to 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 the east side, okay, yeah, to support that as well. Yeah, wow. So a lot of exciting things because uh, from the east to the west, you can start learning a lot of global like a supply chain. Why you need to have some supply chain here in North America? Why you also need something in Asia, and then a lot, especially a lot of things are unable to be abandoned mm-hmm. or very easy to carry over to North America because simply they are very well as established. And then when you're talking about a global business, globalization, let's say this way, yeah, globalization is really allowing people to choose something like affordable, whatever they purchase, uh, they produce in, in other country, mm-hmm. but they come into this way, it is still affordable for the economy. So yeah, so um, in Asia market, uh, not only in Thailand, but also in Japan, right? Because I was mentioned about Nippon Modi. Yeah, how did the cooperation between yeah, because, the two companies uh, came about? Yeah, yeah, because we learned each other from the international seminar okay. for the motor fiber. So we see each other, and he's like a Japanese, typical Japanese. Yeah, not too tall, but he's really hyper, uh-huh. and then he's always energetic. So uh, you don't really see a lot of Japanese really speaking English that well, especially okay. they are really willing to talk to you in in Japanese mm. uh, in, in, in English. English. So especially because I was mentioned about my background, I only speak. Jo- I also speak Japanese as well. Oh wow! Okay. So so sometimes like okay, he always feel like I'm I'm sneaking, <laughs> hearing what they say. I say, well, I'm sorry, I speak Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's easy for us to become like uh, like friend, and then uh, after that, because I start going to Thailand, and then uh, he was invited to go there, and then we explore the the business opportunity together. And then because, okay, Nippon Motoring, very interesting. They have been doing multiple for more than 68 years, I believe, 68 years. They are really long. And uh, just like I say, Motopole has been in market more than 100 years. Mm-hmm. People are learning how to, what is Motopole because using the egg tray. Egg tray has been the in, in the market for, for more than 100 years. Yeah. Can you believe that? So, yes, they are 68 years. They are the, 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 the biggest one in Japan. So they're doing the egg tray. And also the fruit. You know, when you go to Walmart, when you buy something like a fruit tree, or the fruit, right? Yeah, it's also apple, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. They're using those multiple mm-hmm. as well. They they normally using like different color, like uh, purple. You can see a lot of colors. Oh of yeah, definitely. Those, those yeah. tree. So, so they they produce majorly for those. Mm-hmm. So because we start talking, and they start adapting more industrial packaging. And then because of okay, Japan also quite unique because a lot of big company, even I introducing HP and also other big company going into Japan market because okay, they are, they are Japanese. And then they will automatically will using our material as well. So that's why they also opened the market in Japan mm. for industrial packaging. Okay. Yeah. So, so because of that, and then uh, we also doing the, the one in Thailand mm-hmm. together. And also like Sony, like I think more and more people will see Sony packaging will start using a lot of multiple. I think we are also one of the the, the efforts as well. Mm-hmm. So we re- I really see that okay. There's so many things that only you come from to me, or I'll go to after you, because eventually I will start seeing so many different things that can be turned into multiple one day. Maybe right now our technology is not mature and uh, maybe not able to do something like that, but maybe later with some kind of change, some kind of uh, production, like a uh, restriction right now, and now later on, they can break through. So yes, there's a lot of possibility. So I think uh, doing multiple still uh, a long way to go. It's not something about, oh, maybe just another five years. Okay, people will go with another material. Maybe, maybe we still open-minded to see something possible, but belongs to multiple. I think there's still represent a, a big chunk of the, the, the potential still growing. 
yeah, it's evolving right now. It's growing increasingly. Yeah. Yeah, like I say, not only for the packaging, right? Every day that you're using like a tableware, or maybe later on you can see something really interesting. It's coming up. Okay. I just cannot tell you, but uh, that's what I want to ask you. Like, what what is this thing that well, might you know be coming what? up? Like, it's well, you know confidential just, still. You know, it, it's coming really soon. So I have to say that uh, there's so many things that okay, even if you guys want to come 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 front to us and say okay, can you change this change this to something? Mm. multiple right there's always possible L- also like the big things i think that's not a news anymore uh you know the the water bottle right multiple it's coming up oh right because it can be uh waterproof it is waterproof and, and also you can, okay and also you see right now those plastic right how you're gonna see that's an ocean waste yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. not normally people will say that's a soil you know people will toss it into the soil though no actually it's gonna be a lot of ocean waste so people see a lot of ocean waste like like you know how big it is like you know in just in the pacific ocean they are floating as an island and that yeah. island is so big even bigger than entire time one can you imagine whoa that? Yeah, it's a bit as big as like a uh, Texas. Okay. So you know, entire Texas, that's a ocean waste is floating on the ocean in Pacific Ocean. So that's a lot, my friend. So, so you think that okay, right now a lot of people come with a great idea how to re- recycle those. How are you gonna recycle in entire Texas? That's insane. So that's why. Uh, this particular will change into multiple. I yeah, you're gonna I start can, by changing I can, this. I, I can tell you that. Yes. People, wow. people just watch and learn yes it's okay. coming up it's coming up yeah oh that's amazing that's gonna be really interesting then yeah so maybe a lot of things a lot of things people never think about it but because we are in the industry for so long so um yeah i think people really start asking us a lot of interesting question or challenges they're approaching you with different challenges to change the yes anything that Maybe their industry. Because at, at the end, you know, the social responsibility uh, is teaching all the big uh, corporate, right? So they don't want to be blunt about, okay, later on, after 50 years, you still see this Lenovo computer still not de- dissolving, okay, mm-hmm. on the underground or something. They want everything could be dissolved. And then they don't want to see, like, turtle with the... You the straw, no, no, with the, <laughs> the straw, or you know, a lot of dolphin yeah. or something like they strike with the even the, you know what? Actually, there's another thing also already mature, but people still not well adapted. I think one day for sure, you know the the you know when you buy the coke, right? Oh yeah, the, the thing that the, the rings, the you rings, know, the, yeah. those are plastic. You know, that's why they they ho- hooked with the why everything is the sea turtle. I think yeah, yeah. 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 People see the sea turtle. There's the way to get trapped. That. Yeah, get yeah. trapped or something. So that's why people really think about why we kill a lot of uh, a beautiful like uh, creatures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so trying to give in a, a really uh, a beautiful ourselves or also to other animals. A beautiful like earth so i think that become our missions our mission is trying to make sure everything could be potentially harm for the environment mm-hmm. turn into something is not going to harm for the environment okay yeah so we have a really ambitious vision yeah definitely yes wow and and also well something that i brought in thailand as well it's something called the iq group okay like well i think iq group is uh one uh I start up with the company because, uh, you know, actually we've been running for industry, uh, especially in manufacturing for too long. Mm-hmm. And then we're trying to representing a lot of different company trying to produce something like, just like we say about, okay, what about a water bottle? So the water bottle at the end, if we, if we join uh, developing with the Coca-Cola, that's still be a Coca-Cola. Mm-hmm. But, and also a lot of company, like a trading company, they start seeking like, okay, yeah, we're gonna be exclusive with you. So everything your design at the end is our design become their uh, merchandise. So we start thinking about why we always deserve just as a as a as a as a manufacturing. Mm. We want to be a partner to be out front and talking to people, not just for our manufacturing capability and also maybe our design capability. We really want to testing the water and trying to come up with our own branding and trying to carry on with something like uh, daily necessities. Okay. That's why I say the necessity is something that we want to say about, okay, people at least, it can be easy to adapt, right? Because daily necessity is like, okay, you don't want to a lot of mind about thinking about okay should i buy this but no because you just grab and go mm-hmm. that's easy to use so we are trying to come up with some kind of our own branding our own product 
So that's why there's an IQ coming out. So the IQ is trying to uh, come up with some kind of innovation idea. Right. And instead, of we're always trying to share to our customer. See, they always come up with an innovation day. So we will be invited with the Apple, Sony, like all kind of nameless company. Like we always join their uh, innovation day. Mm-hmm. But at the end, it turns to their own idea and then asking the factory, okay, do it. But we think that, okay, we also want to play the rule about letting people know that not only serving to those big company we also have this kind of social responsibility i want to make sure my company or our product later on could be something uh be a good name people will remember because people won't remember our factory name which is ei or something because at the end we are just one of the factory okay but if you have some kind of branding which is all your products right people start remember oh yeah, because it is what people are using. That's yes, good so people remember. will be more appreciated. I'm not saying we need to be appreciated. But we just want to earn that kind of uh, uh, credential. Mm. Let people to know that, okay, not only because of people asking us to do, but we also trying to create something for you guys. If you guys will come up with any kind of cool idea, let us know. We can also produce that for you. Not producing, but actually we can penetrate and uh, maybe can be a partner. Like, for example, okay, maybe something that, even let's say the Euro bottle, you know, the Euro bottle, like people would ask me about a Euro bottle, can you do that? And then, yes. When we design something, people will only appreciate about, okay, yes, okay, thank you for designing that. And then, you know what? But you are too expensive. They're going to turn mm-hmm. around and look for any other alternative factory. So, I don't know, eventually, not everybody will appreciate what you have done. Because when you develop something, it's like, okay, I'm not trying to sell you high, but at least, okay, we have so many things. We're right? producing. We're, we're, we're developing together, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But at the end, people will take the, the award or the crown. Right. So like, people not really appreciate, so we rather turn that into something maybe we can just be our brand because we rather run our branding to be people to know that, okay, why we are doing this right? and how can we do so people would always come back and trying to collaborate with us with uh, name recognitions. That's one thing. But also uh, how can be a partnership together. So that's another thing. Not just taking the your design and then because, oh, because we send a non-disclosure. I own the, the, the ownership. So you know what? This is my, my design. This is my product. And they can always looking for any other uh, manufacturer to produce something. Right. Yeah. I don't know. This is another way that, okay, how are you going to protect yourself? And then that's why we think that, okay, we have to take that as a next step. And create your own brand. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think uh, we want to carry on our own value. But maybe not only multiple, to be honest. It could be something else like, okay, I have we're using this company to maybe also study something even further or even advanced mm. packaging or something in the future. So we don't know. So that's also quite interesting about uh, we're exciting about the idea to establish this company. And especially we set it up in Asia because, okay, after I have been to Thailand for those past eight years, mm-hmm. I I really see the people, passion, and also they have a lot of creativities over there in Asia. Maybe I'm the Asian background. It doesn't mean that, okay, oh, of course, there's a lot of brilliant ideas come from America or maybe some brilliant ideas come from Mexico, but because we are located in border city, Right. And most likely the Boulder City, people really staying here unless you're doing the manufacturing. Because here, the most booming uh, industry just manufacturing. So yeah. how many people were willing, like, for example, you have a high educated, but at the end, okay, you just walk into the factory. No, you want to work in some other big company, right? So at the end, so it's not a lot of talented people over here, I have to say that. But uh, I hope one day this could change. If something can be generated over here, for example, like here in Texas, so big, not only here in El Paso, but you see a lot of people rather move to uh, San Antonio mm. or maybe to Austin, especially Austin. Yeah, Austin right is now. everybody's moving to Austin. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of resources with a student, right? Because uh, UT Austin is all, uh, it's a really great school. They have a lot of talented students, and then they are highly educated, and the academic are pretty good. So. A lot of people rather stay over there because, okay, they are seeking more opportunity mm-hmm. as a startup company. They have a lot of great opinion, right, and great idea. So even a lot of uh, Silicon Valley company like uh, Apple, Google, they actually moved to Austin. 
not only Dell over there, but right now all those tech joints are there already. So they want to recruiting the the the, the, the talented students over there because there will be a lot of opportunity that they can create something good. So same thing in El Paso, I think one day uh, it can also become one of it because there's so many manufacturing over here, right? Yeah. That's why you need the talented people to create something and then, Hoover, they, they, and yeah. then be built over here. Mm -hmm. So don't just, okay, stay in California and that's why a lot of rich people over there and people can earn about what, $100,000 per year mm -hmm. or 150,000 per year because well, I have a lot of friends actually working in Silicon Valley. Their startup salary, like people say, eighty thousand. No, you're gonna starving over there. No, at least one hundred thousand. How many people can earn one hundred thousand dollars here yeah, in no, Texas, no. especially in El Paso? Yeah, no. See, so we hope that okay, there will be one day this is coming in here, mm -hmm. and not just oh being staying in Austin only. See, Austin, there's not much of manufacturing, but here as a borderline, why not people can really create this kind of smart city. It's not only for people like uh, to produce, to, to manufacture, produce, yeah, yes, yeah. but you also can develop something. Yeah, designing the yeah. process. Yeah. Well, I think maybe using another example, I don't know, like uh, if people really been to Taiwan, okay, mm. I have to say Taiwan. We also have a lot of industrial park, yeah. but not only industrial park for the low end, front end uh, manufacturing, but also like high end, high tech, the tech park. See, those tech park can also transform something into something really practical and then the manufacturing behind right. will produce that see the small taiwan can also do that why can why can texas so big yeah, people have to just choosing place to live they think that every big company going to be there but at the end those big company at the end when they create something they are coming down here to look for the manufacturing possibility mm -hmm. then why can be just here in el paso right so hopefully, yes, I think that's also tech along with the, the government policy. And I can see that, okay, there will be more and more uh, uh, city growing here in El Paso. I think one day it can be like that. And I'm saying the Thailand, the same thing, because Thailand is pretty complex, just like Taiwan. Right. Especially my factory is in Bangkok. Okay. See, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a brain of the Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. Besides uh, Singapore, everybody knows that that's a financial, but a lot of activity actually happening in Bangkok. In Bangkok, yeah. See, that's why. So I think going to Bangkok, for me, I always go there. I have this kind of mood. When I go there, I always feel like I'm back to the island. I'm back to the paradise. I don't want <laughs> to say island. Yeah, because every time when I fly to Thailand, I always feel comfortable. The Thailand thing give me a lot of confidence, right? Or Asian thing, not just Thailand, but you know, I, I, but also Thailand has a lot of talented people because I'm in in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. That's a city. That's the 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 capital and also economical. Everything is going to be there, so that's why a lot of students are there. And they are really student. They're really smart. Yeah, so that's why I see a lot of potential over there. And that's where the people are designing, you're creating mm. new ideas yes, and yes. everything. So that's why I give them a lot of credit and then they really going into a lot of things possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. They are just saying, well, we just talk about uh, the chat GPT. Oh human, yeah, that's right. We were talking before. Human version. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah they are, I know AI, you cannot complain about it. Then you know what? They are also learn from human, but those other people maybe found the AI to learn. Mm -hmm. They are really good. Yeah. So I like that. I like them a lot. Yeah, they're developing with, they're uh, the growing with yeah, this the technology. Yeah, the and everything, like every time, even they really bother you a lot because they always come up with the idea and then they will call you and say, hey, Alex, can we do this? Oh, no, no, no. It's just like, okay, okay, okay. I'm, it's late. <laughs> You're you in the daytime, I mean the nighttime, okay? Yeah, Give me yeah. a break. Yeah, but yes, they are really hyper. Okay. I like it. Yes, I like it. That's nice. Yeah. You know, right now that you were talking about the, the different possibilities, I was, I don't know why I had this story that there's a problem with wet wipes okay. right now in England, that there's a huge mountain, like it forms islands of wet wipes that is just trash uh -huh. building in, in the river. Okay. I don't know if that's something that pulp molding can be used for in the future or something like that. Like Wait, white. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Okay, the wipey, yeah, right? Yeah, wipey, yeah, ah, for, okay. for the... You know, there's you know what? Uh... To be I'm honest, just thinking out loud, yeah. I'm not too sure it is possible, but uh, I can see something similar. It's like people are trying to replacing the, you know, because the, the COVID-19, right? So, yeah, yeah past years, you know, people using those uh, N95, mm -hmm. you know, the mask. But masks also because those are fiber as well. And then people using multiple to phone that. Oh, then, okay. Yes. So if you ask me, is it possible? There's a possibility. 
But if you're talking about the smoothness and also you know the flexibility because of wet wipes, right? You know mm-hmm. what? They are ex- elastible. Mm. Yeah. So they also contain water, and also you need to make sure because they need to be sanitized. Right. Yeah. And then multiple. It really depends on what kind of a raw material you use, and then if you put into a long time, right, under with, with the water, we we don't want to kind of create some kind of bacteria or something. So right, right, right. I don't right, know. Right. So there must be a lot of things that people need to read about it. But I think right now, the... The, the bottle, water bottle. After the bottle, right? So maybe that could be another future because uh, multiple, remember I told you, I cannot expose too much inside yeah. to yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. But yes, not only the fiber, there are some interesting fiber are being testing right now. So okay. I think whatever you say, it's possible. It is possible. Okay, interesting. Yes. yes. And well, talking about your company specifically, um, can you share with us like some pivotal moments okay. that make you consider like when you expanded or uh-huh. when you were living the crisis here in 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 Juarez? Yeah. How did you manage that, or what was the idea that well came about? You know, actually, first, okay, when you invest in a foreign country because mm-hmm. you don't have a lot of family support, you know, you 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 always tell yourself like you're not belongs here. You know, for example, if I run into something, right, maybe you work for me at least, maybe you have your family, right, because you're from here. Mm. So we we'll feel we we really feel vulnerable, right. So when you feel vulnerable, that you really have a lot of uh, pessimistic idea in your mind to say. Oh, why am I here? Remember, I've just mentioned about it. And how long can you really keep up? So, yeah, some pivotal time, for example, like, remember I was telling you about an uh, economic collapse, okay, during the 2007 and 8. And also, the most reason is uh, the pandemic, okay, starting yeah, 2020. You, yeah. Well, I I really, because the first time, I already tell you how you're going to do it. Yeah. So, the second time, you already not really worry about, okay, what's coming next. Mm. The, there's only... Things that, okay, you cannot do because you cannot hold on to it. But I don't know. Like, it really depends on how people, how long you can uh, survive. And also financially, uh, how much how much uh, 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 freedoms that you have. You know, luckily that uh, if you ask me uh, as an p- entrepreneur, right, so what exactly will keep you continue? Especially there's always when you're growing you earn a lot of money. When you are down, you're gonna losing a lot of money. That's the same thing. Even when you run a factory, right? Even there's no operation, I still need to pay a fixed cost yes. over there, and that's not that's not joke. Okay, we're talking about like hundred of thousand of dollars. Mm-hmm. Maybe it could be half million or to uh, even bigger. It could be a million dollar. Depends on how many factory you have. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's a lot of burden. So um, you have to evaluate your financial stability. If your financial stability only allow you to maybe survive for six months, then you have to find out, okay, what else you can do? If you cannot survive that long, first, you need to check. Uh, like I say, either easy money is coming from your family support. Would that be a lot of trouble from you to carry on with the family support? Mm. You know, and second, okay, financial wise, okay, I know as a private owner, we are not like a stock company, so you are now fundraising those stock or something, so people can buy your stock. So you start kind to, you know, if it, because of it the first time, okay, I have I have went through there. So this time, I really know that okay, a lot of company like potentially want to to partner with you. You probably make a local team. You mean yes. Okay. So because uh, everybody have their run their own company. Mm-hmm. Doesn't know. It doesn't matter. They are big company like a uh, stock company, right? They are public company. They also have. They also have to cut down their cost. Mm-hmm. So that's why eventually they will start seeking your collaboration, because okay, maybe they have a design team. What about I'm gonna close my design team, but you can still continue to design, right? So maybe they will still rely on you. So you still need to look for some kind of possibility. So I say, when you desperate, <laughs> you start looking every possibility, different angle. And before people tell you, for example, maybe one day I could be a podcaster. I don't know. Because <laughs> 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 one day I really ask myself because of my kids. He so he was only when he was only like eleven years old. Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of kids already. He's only like fourteen, fifteen years old. So it's about three, four years ago. So, you know, when I ask him, what do you, what do you want to be? He said, I'm going to be a YouTuber. And he said, 
<laughs> wow, 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 wow. So see, uh, that, that's really yeah, like, that's you know, what right saying, now yeah. when I try to do this, this is my first first, uh, first time with a podcast. Even I know. Oh, thank I, you so much. Yeah. You know, even I have listened so many things, but I just don't know like how many people interesting to listen my story. So I really appreciate your time as well, and also your invitation. But really, if you can, if I can inspire somebody, and if really people can subscribe, and then how much, how how much volume that you can really share from your end to 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 different people. I know traditionally this is how we learn to do the business way. But I also ask myself, okay, if my kid doesn't care about what I do right now, mm. how does he going to be love to do the thing even later on if I'm gonna engrave to him or something? Because okay, when he gonna grow up, right, one day and then uh, am I gonna ask him, okay, are you interested about this or you're not gonna do this? See, that's a that's a sad news. Even different generation already. Okay, I already see that. Okay, uh, a lot of people like me who running the traditional like uh, industry, mm -hmm. we call that traditional industry, which is like manufacturing. Right. Not a lot of second generation will will love to carry on with what what your dad doing or their parents doing or even their grandparents doing. Yeah, the legacy. Yeah. yeah. So unfortunately, that okay, I have to see that. So that's why not only because okay, I create a company for letting the the skilled people keep running the mm -hmm, company. Mm -hmm. So that means okay, I don't really have to rely on my kids one day or something or if he doesn't like then okay my legacy will be and i'm not trying to create a big legacy but at least okay i hope that okay everybody want to create the meaning of your own life right if i can do something i would rather people can feel how i feel and then trying to learn my passion if i can inspire someone i would love to inspire someone so uh so when you really tell me about how am i going to survive for those downtime and what changing my mind you know what i i cannot give you really clear uh the uh, one step answers or something like yeah, that. yeah because there's always a lot of things mm -hmm. that is really complex mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. about something you're just working in the big company at the end because okay they cut down people oh, oh, oh i'm changing another job so so yeah so it's not that easy so i think behalf of myself as an entrepreneur uh there's so big burden that you have to think about either you just let go or you're gonna keep up. Okay. Yeah. So I think I always choosing the the, the second answer. I'm gonna keep up. Then how are you gonna keep up? Then always challenging you. So make sure you stay stay with a lot of people like you, or stay a lot of people like other people. Like communicate with people and then trying to learn so many different angles. So not let yourself thinking about just one direction. I know my right. one direction is okay. I'm gonna survive. Yes. How are you gonna survive? Oh, there's so many things. It could be possible. Just to explore different possibilities. Yeah. Yes. The and then that's why you can also commit to the people who work with you. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, at the end, if you're the owner, if you are even losing your sight, how are you going to let other people to understand and also to be with you? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because if they're losing the passion, if they're losing the, the, the belief, the faith, uh, that's a good word, faith, then you just need to create a lot of faith to people. So... Well, that's a great segue. Then, how do you create that motivation within your company's uh, personnel? You know, like uh, you're being here in Juarez, you're being in yeah. Thailand. Yeah. I guess there's different uh, sides of the culture as well. Yeah, but you know what? Actually, the really good good question is about when people say, "Okay, oh, hey, Alex, why are you not setting a second factory here? Why are you not building the third one?" Okay, okay. you have so you mean in Juarez? Yeah, in Juarez okay. or something. Then why are you not building more uh, factory? I can see that when people like doing really well. Okay, you have a first factory, second factory, and third factories. But my philosophy telling me that okay, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna put the basket uh, into just yeah, one yeah, basket. Yeah. All your eggs in one basket. You know, when I'm very diverse, I know the business training like globalization. You know, I learn as a globalization, mm -hmm. not localizations. So at the end, when there's something not going well here, it doesn't mean overseas not gonna do well. Right. You see that opportunity because of maybe here is very uncertain. That's why they have to force into out of their supply chain to Asia. That's why mm -hmm. you're Asia benefit with that uh, risk over here in North America. Mm -hmm. So it will balance me. So not only because right now, okay, if I can earn 1 million per month, okay, I'm gonna earn 2 million, 3 million, that's okay. You can count on that, but once you losing the money, you're not taking care of just one factory. You're taking care of two, right. three, or multiple. So again, I'm the private owner. So I don't think I'm so ambitious. 
you know, I would rather other competitors come into the, the field, to be honest. It's not because I'm saying something pretty, no. When you have a competition, that means, okay, people know your industry works. Right. Your business model works. So that means, okay, do not hesitate to see more competitions. When there's more competition, the only thing is not envy then, okay, how many they can do? No. It's trying to make sure how can you still keep up yourself in the industry. Mm. It's not always envy people. I, I don't care about like, oh, you can earn like five million. Oh, so good. I don't care. All I care is about, okay, yes, when you earn the money, what about when you're losing money? Okay, you're not worried about shit. I have... Sorry to say that word. I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, if I, yeah. yeah, you can do anything, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Worry. So, so I have to worry so many things. Mm -hmm. And rather than that, I'm just like, okay, hey, when I see something here happening, it may be in Asia. So let's do it, man. Right. Yeah, the team. Or the other way around, when Asia have something mature and here will carry on them. See, I always can dancing around here and there. That's why that we're traveling around the world because I don't need to necessarily just be here. Right. Yeah, so I think that, that that's the beauty of uh, make sure, okay, what you do is correct. And make sure you are not too greedy. That's the second word. Open your vision about, okay, if this is really works, then, okay, how can you not just expand it to single market? Mm. Diverse into several different markets. I think that's what I want to say. Yeah, just be smart. Yeah. So I think that's how you're going to walk away with a lot of trouble and then a lot of pivotal moment that, okay, you have to decide so many things because, okay, you know, well, honestly speaking, like, you probably never, never, I have to say myself, like, okay, when I trying to run this, it's not about, I'm worried about my kids, what is the next meal? But when you keep running the building, you are also running for a lot of people. Yeah, they're you, providing for their families. If they are, if they are really good workers for you, how are you gonna make sure like they can really survive? So, mm -hmm. so just stay, stay wise. Okay, have yourself more choices, mm -hmm. and that's it. I think that's really simple. And don't be, don't make yourself too complicated, because too complicated means okay, you are too greedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't be a savage person. Yes. So that's that's okay. a, that's a piece of my piece of advice maybe you yeah can, yeah maybe definitely yes and before you were talking about that uh, your kid he's 14 right now and yeah. all he wants to do when he was 11 was being a youtuber right yeah perhaps this is the right medium uh -huh. for him to understand what you do what is it that it's all about maybe mm -hmm. in the future he will be aware and you know get the message of no for what sure it is you know to aim to the younger generations you know you know my my year of age, so you see, you have a like puberty, like teenage, yeah, guy, uh, boys or girls. I have a one boy and one girl, so they are very different. But instead of before, as an Asian, all you learn are just you know what, you need to be, you need to be like a elite from mm. your school or something. I was not an elite. All I ask myself is okay, yes, just doing well, like what seventy percent, eighty percent. That's it. That's always me. So people always think that, okay, yeah, oh, come on, he's not he's not an expert, don't worry about it. There's always people more smarter. Yeah, you can say that. I'm not that smart, but I can learn a lot of street smart because I'm talking to people like you. You know what, maybe you are smart in your industry, but right now you're talking to me at this moment. I learned a lot of things from you. Yeah, See? I'm learning a lot from you. Yeah, so, so at the end, I, you still need to have a social life. Mm. I don't like people right now just always just uh, bury their, their time just with the cell phone, you mm -hmm. know, like, mm -hmm. oh, there, 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 there. Yeah, and then what else? I still like old school. I like to talk. But even though in the future, maybe people doesn't talk to each other that much, but what you really have to change your mind is, okay, yeah, always having a lot of interest. Don't always just catch one interest and then never let go I, I think that's not healthy at all and then uh that's why you can oh, you you are you are strict yourself in one in the in the cubic and then you don't even know what to do so make sure there's always water right yeah the water comes in and they will fill up something out that's okay but that's always fresh it's always fresh make yourself fresh and then uh that's why when i trying to talk to my kids okay I would not asking, okay, are you getting like 90% or oh, you're so good? Oh, oh. 
no. Li hai, li hai. I, I, I would always say that, okay, uh, what else you learn? What is your interest? Mm. I will offer what I can do. For example, see, for example, my factory, I have a, I have a CNC. I have a design capability. Okay. So I can offer my kids, okay, during the summer right now, because uh, I talked about it already. So starting this year, like the summer, they will go to different facility to learn different things. Maybe design from the 3D, 3D okay. design, yeah, 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 and also 3D printing as well because we have a 3D printing machine, and mm-hmm. also maybe even bigger like a CNC machine as well. So he can learn some mechanical and also like a computer skill. It's always skill. Eventually, okay, people doesn't care about oh, okay how good you are, or maybe I can learn my academic ninety percent, but maybe they are just like a, I'm sorry, a, 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 a bookworm. Right, right, well, right. A book one, like, oh, okay, you're so good, 90%. Uh, can you do something? Oh, they cannot demonstrate. Oh, based on the book, it tell me this. Okay, come on. Yeah, are according you, to my analysis, let me... Yeah, are you kidding me? Yes. Yeah, it needs to be a balance. You need to have a quick instinct about, mm-hmm. okay, a reflection. Mm-hmm. Okay, when people ask you, okay, oh, I know this. It's not about, okay, mm, let me evaluate. Mm-hmm. The chat GPT will evaluate everything for you, but you just read about that, then what is your reaction? Right. See, right now, people... We're still outbid uh, AI still. What is your reactions? They will react something just like a Bible, right? No chat GPT right now will, will teach you something bad, <laughs> I think, at this moment, because those AI will only capture something really, the perfect answer. Right, 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 right. But I want to learn something like not a perfect answer, because you're dealing with human. It's not always human Think about the one direction. So once once again, I think that's another ChatGPT. They also need to create something just like a street smart AI. Okay. Not a book smart like AI, you know. So, so I think at the end, back in the day, about thirty years ago, when I was a student, for example, like twenty thirty years ago, you need to remember everything. Even our life was still, you know, you have to dial the modem, and then and they're so slow at that time. Yeah, yeah and there's no <laughs> like Google at that time. Yeah. See right now. I would rather I ask my, my kids, okay, you need to know how to searching for the answer. Mm. It's not about you remember. You cannot outbid anything because AI is going to outbid you. Your brain cannot store everything inside. Right. It's how you're going to reflect. When you know you want to find the answer, you can either asking this or doing that or something. like. You know how to reflect, not about, oh, I freaked out, I don't know what. Then, oh, let me go back to the book or something now. You know, the, being the creative, creative with the questions that maybe you asked to the chat GPT and yeah. using them, like when the calculator first came out, mm-hmm. everybody was worried, oh, you're not going to be thinking about uh, multiplications, you're going to be able to, you don't know how to divide. Right. Well, no, the calculator is going to do it for me and it's going to give me answers and I'm going to yeah. move faster with this. And, and this is the same thing, it's a tool. You yeah. know, the telescope provides a vision for further uh, stars in the galaxy and yeah. this is also something that is going to expand mm-hmm. or help us expand yes right but you need to learn how to use it not just being well, i don't know no for sure it. like technology was driven by human i mean the the yeah i think for sure that's how because pe- people are very lazy to be mm. honest we will see more and more people like me with a, a huge belly later on, just drinking beer every day and then handing just moving around your automatic uh, uh, yeah, car. And yeah, and that's like, because people are, la- I'm sorry, that, 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 that's, that's something we have to learn. Yeah, people are lazy. It's I'm intrinsic to our nature. But yeah. Yeah, that, that's, uh, it's in our DNA. Yeah. Everybody just wants to have an easy life, right? Yeah. But how are you going to make this easy? Only you can think. If you cannot think, you just follow people, create a tool for you. Mm-hmm. You are just like an adapter. But how you're going to be an early adapter, that's number one. And then how you're going to change, not only adapt and turn into something as a next question. Mm. So that's why that's how you're going to driven yourself. So that's why I always seeking them if they are interested about anything, I'll let them do it. If they only have a 80% from the academic or 70%, I don't know, like my wife will be worried about that, not me. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. only worry about how much more are they going to learn. Are you willing to learn something outside of the book? Right. So that's what I care. Yeah. yeah, that's what matters. Yeah, so maybe one day they will inspire me like for something, right? So I even asked about the chat GPT right now, okay, get familiar with that because everybody will learn how to use it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you're just 14 years old, then okay. When you get to the work, you know, until you are 22 or when you're in college, right? Maybe there's another newer version already. But it will definitely be yeah, a newer If you yeah. still don't know how to using the, 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 the previous one, yeah. Yeah, the previous one, then you're just outdated. So give them a lot of opportunity and maybe one day they will tell me a lot of good things. So I will learn from my kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow.
Well, and then we're changing a little bit about the subject uh, regarding managing people. Okay. Right? Because you've been uh, here in Juarez, also Thailand. Yeah. What can you tell us about uh, how to manage people uh, wisely, I guess? That's well, number one. Well, how to manage people wisely? Just like now you asked me to come here to do the interview, right? Mm. So I think that you pre-select. Maybe I'm not a random people on the street. So you probably know, maybe I can share something. Same thing when you hire people. You always want to find their, their goods and bad. You have to understand their bad and try to find how, how many their goods. Mm. So eventually that, okay, why are they still there? Just like maybe I say, why might I still there? My first uh, operator now operator my office people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now still working over there there must be something good so I, i cannot let her go right and then there's also something maybe i'm not good at maybe she can tolerate me right you know you don't always asking people you know what no you know what? if you don't like it okay forget about it maybe it's not their fault it's your fault so that will also be a mirror to reflect how savage i was mm. or maybe you can, maybe i'm really bossy So I have to ask her about, okay, yeah, somebody can tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, otherwise, a lot of people are not going to tell you the truth. Just okay, whatever. I'm just here to work. Yeah. And when I'm home, I'm home. Yes. I don't care. So uh, you, you, you got to find somebody who can really value you, not you value them. And then when I value them, I also asking this person, okay, how can you help me? Do you see? Because you, they, they speak the same language. Once again, I'm still not fluent in Spanish, which is I don't. But uh, because they are grown and raised in, in Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, they are Mexican. So, yes, they, they definitely know how to talk to them. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need to have a, 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 a talented team, right? So you trust them. They speak the same language. They grow. They have a same vision. But at the same time, they also have a vision with you. You don't need to have a same vision for everybody that you hired. So how to manage people? I think first you need to find somebody who 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 doesn't care about You're being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I will tell you to your face yes. when you're, yeah. And also, it's not because he he or she will try to challenge you. They will let you know the fact. Mm -hmm. And then they will turn around and let the team know, okay, what is the boss expectation? Right. Yeah, and then I will never try to tell them, okay, oh, I like this girl. I'm going to hire her. I like this guy. No, at the end, I will also let them to involve, to choose from, okay, yeah, if they are going to work here, what do you see? Mm. Yeah, so I think that's at least very simple, like a human management. Like, you cannot always be right with everybody. Yeah, and then I don't expect that, okay, everybody will love me back. At least somebody really know me, right, and trying to calm the rest of the people and then will appreciate what I'm doing this. You just need to know a couple of people, will appreciate your value and then have to share the same value with you. And that's it. Okay. Yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, because that's how the the, the company, they, they also really need to have a, um, not a symphony. I think if you have a really good symphony in your office, that's not true. You, you need somebody really, really just like, you know, sometimes... Some chaos. Yeah, some kind of chaos. And then they will just start involving you mm. or they will involve something else. So that's why you can see, oh, that's you. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. So otherwise, you will only see people's good side. You don't even know when did they fart. <laughs> you know, I don't mind if people know I fart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. But you just need to be true you. Mm -hmm. To let people to feel comfortable and show you they're true. I, I hate hypocrite. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you don't want to see that. Yeah, it doesn't help no. to evolve, to expand, to grow. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So chaos is good. Well, sometimes life needs your chaos. That's why I see. If you marry a, a woman that never argue with you, then you should just walk away because she doesn't care about you. Right. Right? Right. Okay. Wow. Well, And um, oh, there was a question I wanted to ask you, like, Um, involving the growth and expansion of, of the business, uh -huh. I don't know, or the motivation in, in general. You okay. were talking about your grandfather that was yeah. a big figure, that a role model that inspired you and kept yes. you going through the tough times uh -huh. before. I don't know if there's uh, something, some other role models or people or books maybe that right now will come to mind that well, will help you. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, there's certain growth. 
role model, for example, like I say that uh, you must have to pick someone that mm. even even could be uh, you you know them or you don't know them. Even maybe the people you don't like, but why they are success, mm. right? Because uh, you have to see from that. And uh, I know there are some books, but those are like Chinese uh, and not really like a North American book. So I'm sorry, you know, maybe if you can think that I, <laughs> I cannot provide a lot of really like valuable book for you guys. But I think there's always uh, pick something that you always like to read. Right. You know, uh, I do read some uh, books, but uh, but not really like inspiring. Rather than that, I really read about a lot of magazine. Like pick something that you like. For example, I, I just mentioned about like phobies, right? And yeah. also some other like uh, very interesting. I, I, I know that as an entrepreneur, I really want to see somebody else, how they success. I know that, okay, it's not about just reading a particular book and then knowing their uh, psychologies or no, their, 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 their really thinking mm. or maybe their concept. Because if you learn a lot of their concept, uh, you also need to understand about maybe not everything is uh, applicable for you. Right, definitely. Yeah. And then uh, I think I just want to have my team and also myself to kind of always read about something and then start going through your mind. Put yourself into that uh, situation mm. and then trying to make yourself about, okay, if uh, if that was me, if, if that was me, then what am I going to do about it? I always throw myself into that situation and then later on trying to talk to my some son of my role model to be honest. Some of my friends, actually, they are doing pretty good about not only the industry. Some of them are pretty much like uh, outside of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're talking to your comfort zone, people will just say, ah, oh, yeah, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nobody gonna give you like really valuable like a view or something. So something outside your comfort zone means, okay, yeah, they are just kind of trash talk everything, what you say. And Even then you need to explain why this is good or yeah maybe because they oh, they hate you so yeah. that's why <laughs> so you know what actually life has been uh to i'm 40 45 years old right okay now. uh you know uh even your customer you know i, I sometimes will even send a message to them about okay how 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 myself or how my team was working because uh, you listen to them because maybe they don't like you. But mm. I always say, don't don't worry about it. They don't like us. Let me handle that. I need to figure out why they don't like me. Yeah, is it because they don't like me or they don't like you guys? Because I'm talking to my team. Mm. So some people will say, Alex, you have no problem, but we don't like to talk to you because I like to talk to your team. Eventually, your team is the one going to give us the answer, not always you, mm -hmm. right? So you cannot always be like a... a, a a hero over there because otherwise nobody gonna learn so how how you really tell me that okay something that i really can learn from it's always a lot of mistake I, I, you know sometimes i'm really impulsive mm. i'm a really impulsive person so i'm being idiot <laughs> from time to time okay but if i have a lot of mistake happened but that will help me to correct myself because nobody perfect and you need to admit you that's your mistake so uh, I, I really learned a lot of uh, mistake because, okay, I run into something like, oh, uh, maybe people will say, see, I told you, you should trust uh, that, that consultant company. Oh, you need to trust this, trust that. But you know what? If I always trusting the good people, then my life is so boring. Mm. You know, yeah, I never go wrong. <laughs> you see, maybe at the end, I just need to pay a big money for that and then they will create everything good. Well, my life dictionary, my, my, my personal dictionary, mm -hmm. I always want to find a lot of mistakes because that's how I feel like I'm very pathetic. Okay. Yeah, only when you put yourself into that pathetic feeling, <laughs> then that's how you really tell yourself, okay, don't happen again, not going to happen again. Otherwise, you never learn something like people when they trying to ditch you, mm. right? And you're always being ditched, you don't know. Yeah, so I don't know, like... There's no no specific answer, but I think really, if you feel too comfortable in your comfort zone, then never grow. You will never grow. 
Yeah. yeah, you definitely need to get out of it. You need to get out of it. That's why I choose to be a, a president of a tiny <laughs> chamber of commerce. Exactly. That was going to be my next question. Like, yeah. how can you speak about uh, being the, the former president of the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce and yeah, how know, that came about? What did you learn? You know, actually, that's a really good question because uh, I'm, I'm the small to intermediate uh, entrepreneur, which mm -hmm. is I, I own the factory. I own everything. So... Those other big company, they are just like a professional, like uh, the management, my right. management team. So whatever they share with you, it's very different, and also their view side is also different. But I, 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 I create everything from scratch. Right. You know. So even we are small, but how am I gonna see? That's really interesting story. That's why I say, okay, why am I end up with the Tony Chamber of Commerce as a president? Uh, I, I'm just the, their supply chain. You know, they have a different supply chain. Right. I'm just one of their uh, one of the supplier. I know uh, some of the things are I'm not doing well. I'm not running this as a president and then let them to know me and then I can do their business. No, relatively, mm. I really learn a lot of people give you a lot of different faces. Okay. You know, they are big company. You know, they are such a high level of management. See, in their factory, they are operating more than thousands of people. I'm only 200 people. Mm -hmm. How can I compare with them? No. So the most of likely, you will learn a lot of people's attitude. Well, some people will give you attitude. That's why you can also start judging who will be your long-term friend. Right. Who are not your long-term friend. You know, some people will just think, oh, admire, oh, you are, oh, you are the chairman, oh, you are the president. Okay, so tell me your company. Oh, oh, I own two hundred people. Oh, really? Oh, and then, but why, why not? It's Winstrom. Why not? It's a Foscon, like a, the 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 director over there. Why, why you? I sometimes ask them back and say, why not me? Right. You know, you guys want to have a really like a pretty castle that people want to say, oh, they are the successful person. Mm -hmm. Why am not success? Can you tell me why I'm not success? Because only I only have 200 people. They operating like thousands of people. That's why they prove that okay, it's better than me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or something else. So uh, I really because of that. Uh, I, because like I say once again, I learn everything from scratch. Right. I learn everything when I hit the wall. I know something that you don't need to go. Sometimes you need to go this way. But a lot of Bible will tell you, just go this way, go that way, turn left, turn right. But no, I can tell you when I turn left, yeah, something would happen. Yeah, when I tell you turn right, okay, I will tell you something happened. It's not about like when they have a team, right? So, you know, the top management later on, they would just say, okay, because, oh, my teammate doesn't do the right job. So that's why, okay, yeah, we fail. Without taking the responsibility of... Did you yeah. hear the differences? Yeah, I would say yeah, because I make I make the mistake, so mm -hmm. I learn from there. But mm -hmm. nobody, especially th those trained professional management, they probably won't admit there will be something related to them because otherwise they lost their job. Mm -hmm. So uh, instead, they will just say, "Oh, that was him, or oh, that was somebody," or when you're not doing right, then you also know that okay, how many people you even you are the chairman or mm -hmm. the president mm -hmm. you still need to serve them to please them so that's why i know okay if i work with this company i don't have a really good result right because those people are really you know i shouldn't using like materialism it's like really you know I, i don't know how to describe that like when people will look you down You know, because they think, okay, no, you are not better than me. Then why are you telling us what to do? Yeah, well, precisely like that. When people believe they're better than you or they mm -hmm. look you down, yeah. Yeah, so at the end, you just need to use your attitude to, or you are enthusiastic. See, sure, you run thousands of people. But do you have an enthusiast like me? Mm -hmm. If you want to be a president, it's not about, okay, just the name. Are you serving people? Or are you just asking other people to do your job? Are you really involved? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you see that. Okay, maybe I'm not a perfect hoster. I think like the yeah, but I always try my best to to host everything. And even when we go into managing everything, I involve everything from the beginning till the end. It's not about okay, hey, Foscon do this. Oh, Winstrom do that. Oh, mm -hmm. Inventech, hey, why are you not here? Yeah, people can be criticized, but on the other hand, they just say okay, I'm busy with my factory. Right. So I can. You don't want to push people away. That's why, you know, sometimes being in that position is not something like you can just sit there and try to tell people what to do. At least I have that motivation. I have that attitude like, to, to serve people. So I think at the end, uh, trying to put yourself into several different spots. Mm. 
to learn uh, in each role. I, I cannot say I'm a perfect role model, but I try to set up a bar to let them know that, okay, if you are the president, you are not being elected to be sitting there and look pretty. You are being elected because you're going to serve the entire group, mm -hmm. the organization. So how much you can devote yourself, not asking your subordinate. Okay, for example, I'm the president. I can ask my my secretary. Okay, do this, do that. At the end, then what? What you just want to sit there and say, "Oh, I'm the president." And you just lay back. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what do you want to talk? Oh, okay, yeah. No. Well, I think it's pretty different from me. So it's always me. I rather do, mm -hmm. not asking people to do. So yeah, then you can really see how many people can be can be the right people. So I think always put yourself in the difficult spot, not always being the comfortable spot. So I think that's why you can always learn a lot of different things and you can value a lot of people. Like really, are they really true value yourself as a valuable person mm. or they just take advantage from you? That's pretty obvious. That's a life lesson. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So again, I'm not saying, okay, everybody always like that, but it's just like, uh, uh, well, everything's not easy. I have to say that. It's not always people say, okay, this is easy here, easy there. Oh, you can just find a consultant to do that and then you don't need to worry about things. No, I always say, well, before the consultant, right, talk to me or let them talk to me. I like to see what they are doing. Yeah, and I want to involve. So I think that's why I can always come up with some little story. And that's a real story. It's not something that I just created or something. So it's something you live through. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully that, okay, yeah, those those are really driven me like to be a better person, mm -hmm. to be honest. Yeah. Otherwise, you never know how capable you are, especially you into that spot. Mm. Yeah. So never be shamed about like putting yourself like even oh that really president as a hoster like why he have to do that like he's supposed to sit over there and talking to those a VIP or something. You're there to serve. You're there to. You are here to serve. The, yeah. Yes. That's why I always believe that. Okay, the president. I'm sorry. Like the president, not only the TCC president or the company, the president or right. something. You need to care for your employee. Mm -hmm. That's really important because they are gonna, they are gonna make the fortune for you. Exactly. But yeah. if you don't really feel what they are worried, if you don't really talk to them, people will f see you are very distant. I don't. I don't have that creating distance between me to other people. Yeah. I really let them to feel like okay. Yes. Yeah, Alex, even I walk into the production floor, I know everybody, I talk to them. Even a lot of people will, uh, my, my, my staff will, will, will talk to me in Spanish, I eventually say, I don't know, I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> but, but yes, there are no hesitation to talk to me, why? Because I'm approachable. Yeah, you're there with them, you're asking questions, yes. you're seeing how they're doing, what and is going on. Sometimes if they're being lazy and say, okay, hey, come on, machine can be just running like this, you don't know why? Think, think, because, yeah. And then when they do that, I think people not really argue anything because they know that, okay, they are just being lazy. Mm -hmm. They don't want to think but because I always with them. So at the end, I tell them what to do. They will just accept it. Not because, okay, oh, you don't know nothing. and You just tell me to do this, but you never try it. So I learned how to try to run my machines. I learned how to create things. That's why even I have my, my marks about, okay, see how I what is that? myself. I know. Well, you know, you know, machine, right? Sometimes... They're heating. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, you burn yourself or something. And then that's why they, when they say, see, your machine like burn me or something. But you don't see, look at yeah, my Yeah, me heart. too. Like, see, I yeah. have here, here, here. And say, oh, they, they're quiet. Right. Yeah. You just need to learn how to protect yourself. And then that's why I learned, okay, because I got burned, right? So I know, okay, how to protect them as well. It's not about, oh, no, why they're so stupid. They, they burn themselves. Okay. Yeah. They don't have mind. They don't have brain. They don't know how to do that. A lot of SOP doesn't help you unless you know exactly how they operate. Mm -hmm. You need to stay behind them and then see how they work, and that's why you can correct why they are not follow the SOP or why they fail. If they are really doing the SOP or maybe your SOP has anything else. Right, error. maybe there's mistakes in the there's SOP. There's any mistake, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, you need to be involved. That's, that's it. You need to care, you need to serve. Yeah, that's, so wow. even sometimes I even compete with my employee and say, see, 
let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do it in, let's say, five minutes. I'm going to do how many pieces. Mm. <laughs> and then I challenge them. So it led them to feel like, okay, oh, it's not about Alex mentioned about, okay, we can do like 100 pieces. Yeah, he really do it 100 pieces. Why? You only do 80 pieces. Por qué? <laughs> por qué? I always say, por qué? Yeah. So I will show you, okay, because you do that, that's a, a redundant work. Right. Okay, or the movement. So that's why stay easy. Yeah. And then see. And then you, you explain how you're making it. You uh, can do more. More, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. So it's always me, like, trying to put myself into different spots. Yeah. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I don't know, like, uh, even until me, like, I also... I also, I also want to know that, for example, like, okay, what, like today, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, like, I was being invited. I know I shouldn't be turned around into, like, a hoster position, but, uh, yeah, so what do you see from me? That's why you think that, okay, I have some value for you to kind of share to your audience or something. Well, first of all, I have the opportunity to visit your company and you were yeah. kindly enough to give me an introduction of your manufacturing process. Right. I get to meet Maida and Erika uh -huh. and right. and well the the basis or the the source of the idea came through you as well because you invited me to the Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce dinner right. in uh -huh. for the uh, Lunar Deer okay. festivity festivities and I was thinking to myself why is there no platform mm -hmm. that outsources the information or the 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 company's worth of the newcomers and also the the people that have been here for a long time yeah of what is the company doing how are they doing it why are they doing it okay. what is the motivation yeah so that's one i wanted to start with you because mm -hmm. uh you were telling me about your expansion to thailand and yeah. why did you decide that you didn't want to have all the action with basket right and i said okay so you you're growing you've been growing here right you came here i i had no idea that you came here by yourself in 2005 and then yeah i was so lonely uh, by myself <laughs> yes in yeah. all those those years so i was interested you know like okay. i was I, i saw the well the the motivation behind it and, and the company was uh uh running from scratch and yeah. then the expansion then nippon the Nippon molding and everything the yes. collaboration so i yeah. said well he definitely knows uh, -huh. uh or has the know-how of how to create something from scratch okay and also the um, experience uh -huh. that many of the people that hopefully will be watching this that are might be struggling with the idea of what if right. what not I, i'm not sure uh -huh. and they get to know well the your story you know okay that, that yeah. is the well, point just like your dad i think exactly uh, you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're first moti uh, you were motivated by then that's why you think they probably have a good story so hopefully i have create the same level like maintain your uh interest or maybe your audience interest about who i am to be honest and uh, why a taiwanese people will end up over here because You know, th there's so many things like a destiny. Uh, when I was in Gong, Guang, uh, Dongguan, you know, Dong Dongguan is one of the city in uh, Guangzhou, okay, in mm. south of China. So those are that's the city, just like what is okay. There's an industrial mm. city. So there's so many uh, manufacturing over there. So that's where I uh, work. You know, it's like Shenzhen. It's Shenzhen, mm. Shenzhen, Guangzhou, yeah, Dongguan, that's mm. the same thing. So uh, mm. yeah, and then. Uh, You know, one thing really interests me because uh, when I was there, remember I say I'm the only one speaking English right. pretty much in that town. I'm, I'm just exaggerating, but not too many people speak English. So uh, there's one day because, uh, you know, going to China, you feel like, okay, you s even you speak the same language with them, but they are so different. They're acting differently, they think differently, and also because you they, they some 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 top management over there in the company at that time feel like, okay, oh, you just like speak English. You're no dip you're you're no better. Mm. So especially I, I I'm just like a paper. I need to learn everything from scratch. So even some people will give you attitudes, Oh, oh, you are the senior Alex, which means I'm more respect, right? But they call you senior Alex, but doesn't mean that okay they like you right they they're gonna they're gonna ditch you later and say see but see senior alex no shit about nothing <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be active enough so that's why um uh, 
I really trying to uh, to 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 put myself to involve everything, and I also want to say that why I'm here because okay, it's not because okay, uh, it, of course the is the 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 business opportunity, but when I was in one day I was walking to the restaurant mm. in in Guangzhou, let's say okay. this way, and then suddenly yeah, I just hear. Some some door some other girls they are chatting and then they say oh, oh I don't understand English huh? and then who can help me blah, blah blah because they are freaked out right because there's a Korean guy there's a Korean guy sitting over there he doesn't speak Mandarin and then those uh, waitress right for sure they don't speak English at all okay so but he cannot he only oh, point this point that and then asking question and then nobody can answer so I just turn around and say okay you guys need my help. So I offered myself, I went there and then talking uh, in English to this Korean guy. And this Korean guy said, oh, you speak English? I say, yes, yes, yes. So, so we start talking. So I remember he told me that, okay, he come from Texas. Mm. I remember he told me that uh, he worked for what company? Only like really few things because we didn't really exchange a lot of information because we just talk and then I just go back to my table and keep eating. I never thought about, okay, uh, when I first came into El Paso, I started to remember, okay, there's a guy, he worked for this company. He has a company, he, he was from Texas. Mm. So what a small world, you know what? Because that day I helped this guy. And then when I first come over here, the first week I tried to call this guy. And then he said, oh, you're in El Paso, what happened? I said, yeah, because of you. <laughs> <laughs> I got cursed. <laughs> I have to set out a factory in Wallace. <laughs> so what a small world, see? Uh, and that's why he started introducing some of my friend. And right. You know, actually, he worked for one of the company uh, from Taiwan as okay. well. Okay. Yeah, it, I guess nobody really remember, but it's really by the 375. At that time, there's no Al, uh, outlet more. It's just like 375, and then right close there. You know, right now, there's a, a lot of factory uh, called um, Schneider. Schneider Electric. Schneider Electric, okay. Yeah, you know, the building over there, actually, uh, they used to have a factory. It's from Taiwan. They have a, they run the factory over there. Oh. It's a Taiwanese-owned company. And then uh, he works that company, and mm -hmm. then they have a factory in Dongguan as well. Okay. Which is not far from the restaurant, and then also I went to that restaurant to to have a to have a dinner. Let's say this way. So so what a small world because okay when I really don't know uh, why you know normally young guy doesn't care about guy guy friends right I only write down the girls numbers and then <laughs> I really don't write down his number or something but I just remember okay he told me something El Paso Texas and then I ended up in El Paso so I first came here and then he introduced me to some friends over here and that's why I started knowing more people right see that's why it just I you don't even know that okay one day maybe just like you say I never know that you you, you have been to Taiwan and you study over there for two years yeah so well, you just need to open your world you just need to go everywhere possibly. Mm. See, so I have been to so many countries. I don't mind to make friends because when maybe one day maybe I will bump into uh, to 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 Omar or somewhere like maybe yeah I will have his uh, help. Maybe I would like to be a podcast. He will. I will using the st studio. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Or how to set it up things. So you know what? Yeah, I will. I always feel appreciated because um, if I talk too much, that's why I know someone. So I, I teach my kids or uh, try to talk to myself. You know what? Go around. Open your eye. Maybe at the end you end up working with other company, but at least you open your eyes. If you're working that company, that means remember, when you get there, just give me business. That's it. <laughs> so, so never try to create enemies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you have enemy, then nobody going to help you at all. Yeah. So always being friendly, yeah. And I have a faith with you. So one day maybe you will help me back. Oh, yeah, for yes. anything, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. No and well, that's a great segue for to close this, I guess. Uh, sure. Just some final thoughts on uh -huh. what is the advice that you will give young entrepreneurs or young people watching this that. Um, okay. You've been giving all the all throughout the talk, but just one final piece of advice, I guess. Well, I think through my interview, I don't know if you guys like it, but uh, I always mention about fearless. You mm -hmm. know, fearless doesn't mean, okay, I have balls. <laughs> you see, but you have a balls and fearless, quite different. Fearless means, okay, 
open mind to learn everything. Doesn't matter if those are end up with the negative. Mm. When you have negative result, that means okay, ho, oh, I learn. I'm not gonna do this. So for sure, I will success. So if you always have a nutrition, always positive. Maybe one day when you fall, or when you get uh, people ditch on you or something, you probably hate yourself pretty bad. So I learned myself. I always being an idiot. So okay. you know, trying to be an idiot, nothing wrong about it, because people will feel like okay, you are trustworthy because you don't have anything like uh, you're not sophisticated. You know, a lot of people doesn't want to share because at the end they think that you're sophisticated. When I tell you one thing, maybe I imply something else.、Mm. See, then people will think I'm not pure. So stay pure and let them to know that okay, this is you. This is who you are. Doesn't matter. Okay, people will take you for granted, but you also learn that okay, then. Those people you probably will stay away from them or keep the distance because those are the people like opportunists, right?、Or、they are just take advantage from you. Then okay, you know the world, okay, but always feel like everything works for you to try. Don't always give you a restriction about oh I don't want to try this oh I don't want to try that oh what is good for me. Don't ask what is good for you. It's gonna ask okay what am I gonna learn. If I gonna go there, for example, I if I say that okay, oh no no no, you know what? I don't want to answer all your question. I don't want to do the interview. I don't even know there's a stereo studio like this. You know what? Maybe one day I'll use it. And also the the way I tell you what I'm gonna do with our new business model, right? And, and do the internal training. See, for example, that I already thought about it, and then I just want to see how this is really gonna put it together. Yeah,、um, yeah. Like I say, yeah, for sure. My factory, for sure. There's a studio room later on. I'll have my、uh, employee to kind of start doing their own. I don't want to say podcast, but at least how you're gonna recording what you have success. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then that's why when the when that become like a training course, you know, that means okay, people can always read about it, and then that become like a videos. Yeah, for the newcomers to learn faster or to have it more conveniently accessible. Yeah. Yeah, and also because right now you're dealing with a bunch of new people. Those bunch of new people, they always thinking something really quick, and then they are not loyal. I have to say that.、Mm. Unlike before, like people like me, pretty loyal about okay, if I go into this company, you're probably gonna marry this company for a while. Like Japanese, they really stopping about okay, yeah. If you change your company, maybe people think that oh, you have a low loyalty, or. And or maybe you are not doing well, so that's why you change a lot of job. It's very、really、different from North America. People think that okay, you I jump here, I learn something, I can jump over there, I can earn more money, right? Which is true, but in Japan, I have to say that it's not quite true. People would think very negative about okay, how to read about you about if you change companies very often. Yeah, you really ch- change company, but you know what? Actually, I was doing this, and now I'm doing that over there. So see, I know everything, but you know what? People just think that okay, no, you are jumping around. So people probably don't like that, so that's why you can say that's a lot.、Uh, learn how to be culture shock, and also learn because of people doing so, how you're gonna choosing your partner if you are gonna be an entrepreneur because you need to find somebody has the same value as you.、Mm. Even you are opportunist, but you just need to make sure yeah that person also opportunist. Then you and the guy is not gonna uh, 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 feel shame about something because I just work for money, right? Nothing wrong. But you know what? I rather you speak out out front, not just because of, oh, because we're friend and then we're something, and then eventually that okay, everything gets soured. Okay, so just learn smart and then be smart. Yeah. Well, great. Well, thank you so much, Alex, for your、no. time, and、yeah. I'm grateful for you being here and giving us all your insight and your history.、Uh, I think yeah, for the past like maybe a couple hours. Yeah, we'll be two hours right wow, now. Yeah, two hours. So I hope that okay, yeah, it's not gonna not sounds like a like an old man. I know a lot of old men were trying to give you a lot of listen. I have nothing listened to you guys. You still need to live for your life, and I think the attitude and then be bold. Yeah, I think that's for sure. Great. Yeah, well, that's、okay. a great way to close、Thanks. this. Then thank you. Thank you so much.、Right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. It's a wrap. Wow, two hours, man. That was wow. That was something. I'm sorry if I talk too much. That was perfect. Thank you so much.